I will continue our Imperial Isles. Autocratia Damianos Silver Sword. Very cool name. The nickname of Silver Sword. I'm a fan of that. The last stream of this, we'd expanded quite a lot, actually, across most of these islands. We'd also had a run-in. What the fuck? Did I not turn this off? I keep forgetting to turn debug mode off. One of these days, I'll remember. Yes, yeah, so the last stream, we'd expanded from just a handful of like this, a couple of these, to, well, all of this. We have Damianos, who ended up being compassionate and just. Our heir, Georgios, is fickle, generous, content. He's a genius, though. He's our player heir, I believe. And then he's got Two good children to pick from. Damianos again, and Marcos. So our possession line is good. It's uh, secured. In terms of everything else, economy, we're doing all right. Prestige, we have a lot of... We have our capital city, which is getting up there for dev, and... Slowly building it up. Slowly. Maybe we should work towards upgrading the actual districts at some point. Hmm. Who is Constantine? One of our daughters. Could be in payment. Use weak head on our vassal, who's a two year old. I'll keep him as. Oh, that's right. This this fella, this little empire over in the mountains, the remnants of the Black Sun, which I believe was his grandfather, is going to be of our dynasty. That's right. And the last thing I remember that we fought a massive holy war that we somehow got a white piece in. Which was... Yeah, we, we managed it. And now I imagine this stream will... Just keep expanding across the islands, really. Keep on doing what we're doing. Is this able to be? Yes. It looked like Wasteland zoomed out, but yeah, we can conquer. Here. I don't know yet. I think we'll probably just go for any... Island. Is this technically an island? It is, so, you know, we could go for it if we felt like it. Maybe we'll get that far. Who knows? I, would, I wouldn't I would also mind the metropolis here, even if it is pretty wrecked. Hmm. It would be a nice... Location to hold. But I think we've taken enough stock. Let's go for it. Muskiv, I think we have a truce with. No, we don't. They're just a bit powerful. We want to conquer a duchy from him. We'd take all that. Yeah, why not? Let's start it off with a a war for these islands. What could go wrong? Our allies, we have more than enough prestige for all of this. You can call in a house member if we want to. It won't cost anything, so... Oh, he has zero units. Then I suppose... 
Oh, do we have a connection to his actual land? No, we don't. So we're probably going into debt. Fuck it, we'll just raise it all here. That we can get better war score just for going from for the capital for a bit. Before we actually... Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's gonna, it's gonna cost us. Prepare for debt. This might have been a bad idea, but hey, what can you do? Well, you could not declare war. That's what you could do. It's not what we did, though. Oh, we no longer have an executioner. I don't really know what the executioner does. I think it's dread gain. No culture. Slowly. Slowly our capital islands being returned to our culture. Do you hear? This isn't a siegeable province. Okay. Yeah, I'll take 15. Maybe we should get every little bit of money that we can. Not military. Control. Joel's good in our own land, so he can help with levies. We definitely have more soldiers. Hey, less ex we lost exposure sickness. That's good. Does that mean that we can cast more spells? Soon. Next year. Verdant Vegetation. Is there much point? Probably not. We can't convert. Well, we'll still convert the lands. Might as well. We shouldn't have much of an issue. This is... Definitely going to be... Easy. Fingers crossed. Almost there. Ten days, five, four, three, two, one. We stole an artifact. We stole his granddaughter. We'll hold off on that. Until he can afford a little bit more. Although if we rented her now, it would get us out of debt. Entirely, but let's maximize. Make the most of it. We're going to lose this little army here. Constantin, her clothes don't quite work again, but... I never, we never figured out that issue, did we? Should we... Is this, is this a mistake to run into this? Yeah, it was. It was. Oh. Our sister died. Oh, that's right. She was in... No, oh, of old age. I thought she would have died in battle. Hmm. We don't have any of this... Oh, we do. We have inappetetic. Inap... Inappetetic? That's how you say that, right? Yes. We can probably afford to have a bit of health. We're still relatively young and healthy. Relatively. This is a child. Nope, never know it's not. Oops. Is 
it a broken book? No. It's just tooltip thing was a bit broken. Control territory romance. Oh never mind, it's already equipped. Or is it? No, it's not. Martial intrigue. Let's replace this. Avasarian Islander Law and Ordinance. Prestige and Stewardship Lifestyle Experience. Let's sit back here and defend this area. That battle really, really hurt the war effort, didn't it? Let's wait till they're all gathered up. Better army commander, more traits. I really, I really don't want to lead this myself. reckless guy and please help the rest of you please help please reinforce it's about even mm. we got it we're fine we did lose our niece and a few other people Should we go for the war goal now? I mean, it can't hurt. It's kind of, it's kind of how you get war scores, and you have to actually go to what you're declaring war for. That's how it works. Saw that our niece was our seneschal, which really use another one. Control growth is very nice. Court poet, we have none. Personal champion. Sure. Our court jester is also our champion. That's... That's normal. Saunter between the market stalls of Nalpurna. Heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? It's admire like the wares of a local sculptor, Avisarian... Agiocratian imagery, a sound investment. My steward suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, my liege. Have a look at the jeweler's stall over there. Their wares might be simple, but their potential is great. Spend some money, invest in... Sculptor, gets us taxes and piety. Jewelry will give us... Prestige and better taxes, or... We lose the investment. Or just get money. Think short term. We just need to stay out of debt. Because if we're in debt, factions arise and our armies suck. We don't want either of those things to happen. What are these occupied by? Are you fighting your own war? Yes, yes, you are. Saucy readings. Our brother in law and our courtier are reading from a licentious novel. Hmm. Yes, let them read. We have bigger things to worry about than smut in the corner. Holding out for that. We should ransom her soon before he changes his mind. Stone Depot in Elofa. Oh, this one. Yes, that's a workshop district. Stone Mason, the Stone Depot. Building, construction time and cost. Handy. We can't afford to build anything else right now, though.
Contribution to the war chest. As I look and fear my almost empty coffers, my herald announces that four of my vassals have arrived. We come bearing gold, my liege, a donation to defeat our enemies. Mayor Ulfer, him right there, announces bring Valerius. If on, they all like us, that's good. I wonder if that's why they contribute. I don't actually know. 35, 40, 50 gold? Absolutely. I'm not going to take it from them, because we're not that kind of ruler. Hmm. If we can all gather here, or I can just keep sieging, let our allies potentially help. I think we can get up to 50% war score by holding the goal. Unless I'm thinking of another game, I don't know. I can never remember which Paradox map game certain uh, mechanics belong to. I especially get confused with EU4 in this, because I play a lot more EU4. We need to hold the whole objective. Okay. One last siege. For a full 125, absolutely. Ooh. We can colonize this, right? Yes, we can. It's a nice little area. It's got some ruins, but... I think it looks pretty cool. Nice little volcano, some ruins. Looks like a tower. Not a mage tower, just a tower. Minting new coinage. It's our right and responsibility to determine what coinage should be used throughout all of the Imperial Isle Isles. Choice I make will determine how the coinage, by extension of my realm, is seen throughout the world. In dev growth for every county. Yet prestige, but to stress if we just put our face on it or try to debase the currency. I'm going to go with a guaranteed dev growth because dev growth is just good. My antiquarian approached me holding my Kalenikos's mace. Didn't we steal this from somebody? I don't even think that's ours. Malige, while I was cleaning the armor, I noticed this here weapon's rusted away to almost nothing. What should we do with it? Look the weapon over. While no amount of reforging could ever make it battle worthy again. It could be possible to clean it up, preserve it for a display at a marginal cost. 265 to make it artifact that gives grandeur and prestige. No, it's it's also not a high quality artifact, so I doubt it would be that good. Also, we really can't afford that. Why? Hmm. Welcome. Welcome. Our Duchess. That's such a good event. We just get free prestige, free... Not yet, but I'll think about it. The AI's decided that they're gonna stack their entire army on mine and just eat all the supply. Rude. I was waiting for that. Yeah, I, I could never figure out why it cuts off like that. I need to... Maybe I have to re-download the mod that adds music. It cuts off at the end there. Uh, Influx of Surf arrived in the Kothex of Nerine from the neighboring Kothex of Ix. I'm going to be fleeing from the abusive rule of my vassal. 
They wish to live in my domains of his. Legally speaking, they're still in bondage to him, but if I let them sell my lands, it'd be almost impossible for him to prove they're actually his serfs. We can return. Return them. We can return them graciously. Or let them in. Yes. We will let them in. Grant them refuge. I'm trying to figure out. We can make a few kingdoms, can't we? Maybe we'll save that for our child. I'm sure they could use the prestige more than we can. Let's wait for the recently embarked thing to wear off. And march in and hope that the rest of our allies will help us. It's closer than I'd like. Ah, that's right. Yeah, all the supply has been sapped out of this area by the many, many sieges. There's no supply anywhere in this area, is there? Or am I thinking... I might be thinking again of a different system. It might be just because there's a lot of units here, right? Maybe that's it. I don't know. Honestly, don't listen to what I'm saying. I'm sure it's sure it's fine. Let's convert over here. The leader over here is yes. Shaw of our dynasty. Another little nephew. Exposed. Hmm. There's been some uh, adultery going on with our sister in law. Oh well. Again, it, it happens all the time around here. Our army is not looking so great. Are we winning? Yes, we are. Or are we not? Am I reading this wrong? I think I am. I think that's a loss. Yeah, I, I always read that wrong. Damn. Factions, everything. We, it, it's just all a bit of a mess. I'd hate to go to a white piece after all this time spent. But also, we're we're going to fall apart here soon. What if I give you an artifact? Uh, how about, do you want a book? Sure. Maybe we make him like us enough. I mean, we can't make him. That. Uh, we could make him. Sp oh, fuck. That's right. He was our spy master, but. Mm. Yep. Nothing we can do about it. Back at it again. One of us will break. Yeah. 
please. Please. At least the factions are disbanding. That's a plus. This war has been going on for a very long time. Actually, only four years, but it's felt like longer. Six months. Okay, we still have... Yes, we have ten of them. No, twenty. Never mind. I don't want to say ten. Liberty Faction, again. Would it just be him? I mean, to be fair, he does own half of our main island, but... As in Rabble, the common folk are unhappy. Again, what else is new? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hell yeah. All of that for these islands. That Yep. All that for this this little bit of island, which I need to try to convert, forcibly convert. Fine. We're who knows how long we're going to be living for anyway. So small favor really means nothing to us. I'm pretty sure having, like, favor hooks from these little counts means nothing, because they're not our direct vassals. So. Well, that was fun. Let's cast Verdant Growth on, is it Kaizos? I think it is. Yes. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you so much for uh, following. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Many fall in the face of chaos, but not this one. Not today. Oh shit. Thank you for the, the sub as well. God damn, okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome, K Shorts. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate that you'd give me your uh, your free prime sub. Hell yeah. We play CK3 every Tuesday. Currently it's the God Herja mod, as I'm sure you could tell. Well, actually maybe not, but yeah, God Herja. You like the subline? Yes. That one was one of my favorites. I managed to find a few Darkest Dungeon voice lines and throw them for some alerts. Yeah, I hope, uh, hope you enjoy. We don't have many emote or really anything yet. I'm still working on it. I've only been affiliate for not even a month, but slowly working on it. I hope you'll enjoy. Also, we have Shining Blood. Over the last few weeks, we've been kept awake by the feeling that something is wrong. Yet I'm unable to figure out precisely what. It isn't until awoken in the early morning by a distant noise I realize what has changed. My body appears to faintly shine in darkness, as if my veins are filled with light. Though few have commented thus far, some have given me strange looks as they pass me in the night. It's likely caused by my copious uses of magic. 
will mark me out forever. Hmm. That uh, that would be badass, though. I mean, that's a great uh, awesome R trait to have. Glowing veins. Imagine. You can found a holy order. I don't really know if I want to. Let's not let's not spend our money on that quite yet. Strengthen our currency. Taxes, dev growth, control growth. Yes. It uses up most of our money, but... Strength and currency. I mean, in the long run, it's worth it. Look how much money we're getting. Hell yeah. And 2.3 dev growth per month. Let's take a moment... Just to recover a bit, though. That that war was unnecessarily difficult. Our jester's known for his fantastically entertaining insults. Happens he is standing face to face with my knight. Just in, just in time to hear a particularly scathing roast. You, you abhorrent hussy and abhorrent mutant. Sensitive soul and wickedness are legendary. Had a perfectly wonder, ev wonderful evening with good company up in town now. You amorosa. That's that's not that's not like a roast. That's just being a dick. <laughs> what does Amarosa mean? Her face is red. She knows that I'm watching, so she managed some pained laughter. I don't know what Amarosa means. I'll be honest. I'm sure it is something. Hmm. Something rude. The Brigandine Warhammer. How much to repair it? 38. You know what? We'll, I'll repair it and we'll keep it. Oh, I could reforge that. Hmm, we'll think about it. Hmm. I don't remember my implacable jest of being this girthy. My lord, excuse me, you see, I have a bit too much to eat, so my stomach does not agree with me, he says, a pained look on his face. Then he rips one, and his coat bursts open, uncovering a duck, and another one, and another one, and another one. That would be good. He just walks in, and a whole herd of ducks fall out. Yeah, that's fine. Kingdom of Anathala and Elivanus. Again, I think we might say that for our kid, because let me look how much prestige we have. I don't suppose we can give it a new pillar already. No, not until 57. Okay. What if we were to change it from courtly to... Oh no, we can't afford that. That's 20,000. I think bureaucratic would be the way to go. More experience, dev growth. Communal. Just really going economic. Ooh, a fragment of the moon. something happened. Our sister died in childbirth, and we've lost an alliance. Hopefully that's not too much of an issue. We also have no master of the horse now. Is it the horse or house? Horse, yes. We still have a master of the hunt. Master of the horse affects night effectiveness. The Shapeshifting of Brana. That's a cool name, the Shapeshifting. Or reef Mining. What does that do? Oh, God damn it. For whatever reason, maybe because it's too big, it doesn't, it doesn't like us clicking on our culture. So we have to do a couple things to get to it. What did Reef Mining even do? It gives us reef mining buildings okay that's right because these this area is full of large crystalline 
reefs of, I guess, just condensed magic. Naval speed can build covered beacon. Basic lighthouse. Well, actually. Might as well. So where would we be able to build? Tax off his anti-magi chapter house. Griffin Roost, hello. Oh, uh, we need the Chevalier Legacy. Okay. Would it be in Maritime District? Workshop District. I'm looking for these uh, reef miners. Try to like to switch this out. I don't know where it would be. Hmm. Weird. Not on here either, is it? No, interesting. I don't know where it would be. Maybe it's actually have to be in specific holdings. I don't know. I think I wanted to save up to upgrade the actual district itself. They both give extra taxes and levies if we do that. Or we could upgrade, say, Guest Quarters Embassy. Monument. It gives renown. I do like renown. I do think if we do red light district, oh my. Probably go a tavern here. Tavern, weight rooms, hillside manors, and circus. Let me build a tavern here. Let's upgrade the workshops to production complexes. By banding together in the same, by banding together in the same, the districts and neighborhoods. Weird. Craftsmen of the city have been able to create symbiotic communities, allowing for much greater output. Yes, they have. All right. Yeah, we're still recovering from our last war, but we're doing well. Oh god, we still have a mental break from lavicious thoughts and erotic fantasies. Hmm. Could get reclusive, or just try to focus. We're gonna try to focus. I suppose there's a way to. Nope, no real way. We could shun food again, but we're already famished. We'll just hope that it goes away on its own. How powerful are they? Let's not get let's not make the same mistake. I'm going to build up money. So we'll go immediately into debt because the thing about be on islands, which is a little annoying, is that you have to embark and disembark constantly to do anything. So we're probably going to try to take these islands from them, though. Because I mean, look how far we've expanded this way. We've done almost nothing this way. Keep swaying him, make sure he likes us. Any other factions we need to worry about? Who even are you? I don't even know who you are. I guess we'll start swaying her. I don't even know who she is. Sidalos. Where is Sidalos? Up here. 
let's declare on you for Duchy of Desuria Isles. Yes. I guess we might as well start here. Let them gather. Which one will have... Oh, it finished already, really. You go there. You go... Here. You go here. Is it smart to be splitting them up like this? Probably not, but... You only have 4,000 men. Let's, we can afford it. Let's bring in all of our allies, because we have prestige to burn. Oh, we can vassalize someone, can we? Easy. Welcome. Join us. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Remy. Yes, we have... We have a new friend. We have a new... What did I call it? Crew? Party? I don't remember. I forget already what, I, what I've called the subs. But yes. New friend. Hell yeah. <laughs> Rude. We have some going on in our court. A little bird. At first, I thought they were merely idiosync idiosyncrasies. It's clear one of the many servants at court has been furtively signaling me. Approaching one of my guards at a quiet moment, and he whispers conspiratorially. Great Autocratier, my name is Ikarium. You over here much while waiting on your guests. They hardly even notice our presence. I look at him doubtfully, wondering whether I really want to hear what he says next. He returns to look, clearly unsure whether he's making a mistake. As he swallows, my lord, Despexer Hippatios, your graceless vassal, has intimate relations with other men behind the closed doors of your castle. Good for him. We could pay to get more servant information. Is any good? We could recruit him. He could be like a spy type of guy. He's actually pretty good. We'll learn of the secret, but I mean, I don't care. Good for him. He's getting action. <laughs> we lost the court physician. That one's kind of important to have. Let's search for a new one. Hopefully it's not going to be too expensive. I don't trust any of our current people to be a physician, to be honest. We need someone new. It's very pricey. 300. I really don't feel like that's worth it. No, let's not do that. Our sister? No, our wife? Probably a bad idea. Player heir? Very bad idea. Daughter? Probably not a great idea either. Yeah, like I said, there's no one good here to be our physician. I guess we're going to have to wait. Wait till we can afford it. Our brother, the wine bather, drank himself to death. Oh. The wife of our player heir has passed away. He's had a, quite a few kids, though. I mean... When we, when we go to him, we can... Get a marriage, probably for the stats. But... He's probably fine for now. Naval speed. 
Next we have, I think the only other one is Bailiffs or Imperial Religious Reformation. Bailiffs. And then by the time we finish that, we'll be in the High Medieval Age. Shit. Where's their capital? It's somewhere. Nope. Uh... Oh, there it is. Way in the mountains. I guess you're going on a trip. Maybe not our player heir. I don't want to send our heir off into the desert mountains to die. He's probably going to get destroyed when he gets there, but whatever. The peasants are unhappy. Again, not surprising. Where are you? Sure, tax exemption. You have one little island. You're not that important. You're really not that important. Get these two siege, then we can... I don't want to land. I really don't want to land on them, because that's a bad idea, but... Our culture. Our home island is almost all of our culture again. Of course, when the Empirike shows up, they convert everybody. Good enough. Oh, never mind, our allies took the hit for us. We took his son and heir hostage. Is that from a battle or did we siege it down? Oh, we did. We siege it down his capital. You know what? Good enough. Good enough for me. Disband. I will create the duchy. I'll try to get these two to convert. And then we can give away the duchy. Good. You know, I'll actually give it to her. Duchy of... Desuria Isles. Spend payment, ransom. Ten and ten. Our Eric and Mary. We won't worry about that right now. Alright then. Court musician. Died. Welcome. Pelagia of the Green Isle. Oh, Pelagia the Second. Also our niece. Welcome. Gold and Renown and Prestige. I, just, I love that event. It's just handy. It's the best way to get Renown, really, is just be a king or emperor. Who are you? We have a claim on this guy showed up. He'd be a commander, apparently. Recruit to court for 59. Yeah, we could always we can use more people. How's the fogland going? Nothing's happened. What a surprise. As always, the fogland is just nothing. Nothing ever happens over there. Convert over here. I don't suppose you would 
convert again. We'll try it. And while we're at it, magic. Verdant growth. Just a low level. So we can't afford to go the higher level. I guess because our overcharge level, or we'll just get get sick from casting so much magic. I'd like to not. Oh, that was easy. Hell yeah. We still only own one holy site for now. These two, probably not ever owning, although I guess we could try. That could be a goal as well. Hmm. She died of oh, old age. That's our, I think, our second wife. Oops. Hello, hello. Hello, Jaunty. Welcome. How you doing? How you been? No, that was our third wife. How about a number four? Someone just help us manage. Good stewardship. Hopefully she won't try to kill us. Just I want good I want someone to help with stewardship. That's good, that's good. I'm not too bad. I'm a little bit better lately than the past few days. So, you know. Can't complain. Well, won't complain. <laughs> it has been a while, hasn't it? Hmm. It happens. Life. Life gets in the way, doesn't it? What was I? Yes. Stewardship perk right away. Centralization. Dev growth in the capital. Is now 3.2 month uh, per month. Oh yeah. City of World's Desire. Uh show me the uh show you the map? Sure. I'll zoom out. This is generally this is kind of like a northern Africa analog. This is a bit like the uh Byzantines. Don't know what this is about. These are like jungles, I think. This is very much Europe. A battle royale for good dev territory. This this is the Foglands. And uh it's awful over here. And then this is a dungeon. You know, you're not entirely wrong. That is kind of the lore of this world, is that it, it was nuked to shit by magical explosion. That's why... I mean, this is called the Shattered Coast for a reason. Yeah, magic. When a god dies and then humans harness magic to make a bomb, yeah, it happens. It is its own custom world, though. I'd recommend checking out... Like the lore of the game, if you're ever interested, it's called God Herja. It's a lot of lore, it's very cool. We have lost another daughter, was slain in a duel. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> what can you do with magic? Uh, a bit. You have like a, a menu here that you can open up different spells you know and have different targets with different types of magic. This one, I like. It increases dev growth and other stuff. Supply limit holding taxes dev growth. It's a very good spell. This one's my favorite of the spells. <laughs> Time to cast it again. 
Verdant Growth. Cofix of Pizos. We'll stay with the lower level. We can't cast it any higher because we might have Magical Backlash. So let's not risk that. Let's not risk blowing our city up because we're trying to help the farms out. Upgrade the breweries to a winemaker. Blacksmith to an armasmith. Actually, what I was saying, I'm going to upgrade this to level 2. Suburb to a commune. Bustling urban center has begun to form... Spreading out amongst the scaffold of infrastructure built there. Ooh. The taverns of Trite have seen an influx of glory-seeking warriors as of late. Among them a group of old and battle-hardened veterans, Huskarls looking for a new master. There's also a host of enthusiastic young men that talk non-stop about finding glory on foreign shores. Perhaps I should seek to employ some of them. Spend some money, get 225 Huskarls. 450. Or, I think we'll just take some money. Can you use a spell to blow up a country? I don't know. I, th I imagine you can. I, that might be in, like, dead magic. I've not played around with dead magic before. I've only ever used living magic and mixed magic. Mixed magic is, like, divination and stuff. Living magic is healing and growth. And then, this is divination as well, but this is, like, heavily focused on divination. Can also raise undead armies, which is fun. Uh, you have to kind of like foster different types of magic. You have to really focus on learning it. We've gone hard with living magic, but it's not impossible. I could try and introduce death magic and like tutor our eventual heirs into death magic, maybe. And I have so many troops because a lot of this land is good land, I believe. Especially this. This is all good dev land. Plus we have all of these islands as well. And apparently this. When did we get this? I don't remember this. They're just kind of doing their own thing now. Yeah, we have all of these islands as well. I don't know if you saw those. They have a lot of land. And good dev land. This is all 15 to 20. This Our capital is almost 24, uh, 25. Fun times. Someone else. Our wife's been absent from her chambers as night falls once again. Been distant lately, lost in thought, really sit at court. We just married her. We'll take her word for it. <laughs> Our lands are primed for a nuke. It, it would definitely hurt us. I think we're one of the more developed nations now. We've, we've managed to claw our way to the top spot. Yes, we did. We got more land. Yes, yes, we did. We got these islands, these islands. Our vassal got these on her own. I'm sure that there's more up here that I've missed. But we did. We spent the first 45 minutes of the stream fighting for these islands. Which is a lot. Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> I haven't played Magic in so long. Alright, alright. It was uh, good to see you. Thank you for dropping by. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Hope to see you around sometime soon. Hell yeah, have a good one. Uh, while we're at a leisurely stroll, the cry of a particular merchant stands out from the regular hustle and bustle of the street. Greetings, my lord. I have an exquisite amount of wares if my lord has the coin. 
So I appear the myriad of goods in the stock in here are Kothex are our steward. Murmur, the etchings on that piece must be real and quite valuable too. Glances at me with a triumphant smile. You know, for the cheap trinket. Can go up for the expensive trinket. Trust his expertise or just move on. Fingers crossed. Okay. A successful haggle. We got a pot. A, is it pot shirt or pot? I like pots heard. I don't know. It gives us clergy opinion. Not really interested. <laughs> Living grounds are already been built. I didn't even notice. We have 11... 11,000 levies. Let's use them for... Let's use them. Our Corchester starting a food fight in our hall. Demand payment for one gold. We should really get a court physician before much goes on. We're getting on in years, although we're still fine. Let's search for a physician. Hopefully not too expensive. We can go for Theo de Linda, who's 69, nice, and a decent one. Or Mothros, who's a covetous gambler with, it seems like, not very much skill at all. I don't like either of them because she... Probably won't be around for long. No. Neither of them have impressed me. Do we want to go back to war with this guy? Just do what we can manage. Do we want to take... I would love to take his metropolis. The capital city of the... Once the empire. Once the capital city of the empire. That's what I meant to say. Hmm. It invade his entire kingdom. I mean, we're gonna die here soon. Let's go for a kingdom invasion. Why not? Sagrad, Plekig. Oh, yeah, we'll go for Sagrad. Sagrad? Yes. Take all of this. Declare. Call in our allies. Might as well call in our house member. He has zero, but maybe he can hire a mercenary company. I don't know. She is beat to hell. It's a look, though. Right, we still don't have a mainland connection, which is a little annoying. Oh no, we actually we do. Thank you, vassal. I don't know which of our vassals got this for us, but we don't need to waste money on crossing. In. I'm glad we don't have to waste money. It's very expensive to embark. One of the pains of having to wage war on these islands. Mm. Let's retreat. Let's all retreat. Don't want to lose our army already. If it's in 1925, yeah. Well, let's try to split it up a little bit because it's definitely... We don't have enough supply for any of this. Supply limit. I keep saying supply like it's a... 
resource instead of just a, a number here of the limit. The Port Enchant Reformation. Herrn Kavar Svinthikar. Fucking hell, these words. These names. Prominent figure amongst Port Enchant. Declared every Thalhar in the land together to discuss their beliefs and establish an official doctrine for the pagan faith. These Port Enchant Thalhar have condemned violence and bloodshed, saying that war only leads to suffering and hatred, are promoting asceticism among their followers claiming that materialistic pursuit blocks the path to spiritual fulfillment. The burgeoning movement is decided not to instate a religious head, preferring instead to let each Dalmar determine what teachings are appropriate for their own temple. I see, I see. He has, well, as it said, reformed the religion. Partick? Is it different than Partick? No, it's Port Ashant and New Port Ashant. Okay. Good to know. You do. Let's move around this way. Maybe begin sieging this for us. Hopefully our allies will help. Of course, rely relying on the AI to do anything this game is... Yeah, it's... Can't really rely on them to do much of anything at half the time, but... We can hope. Keep going down Architect, I guess. Run. Run. Retreat. Why? That sounds bad. I don't I don't like the sound that's making when I zoom in. I hope... I think it's doubling. But I don't know if that's just me. I hope it's just me. Thank you. Two very good reminders. Thank you. <clears throat> I have blood orange iced tea. It's interesting. But very good. Our court's been renowned for the luxurious level of hospitality on offer. Guests have proven useful. On occasion, however, we do get redundant guests at court, whose purpose is unclear, whose presence and necessary drain on my treasury. One such hanger honor is Sink, who's been here for some time as a guest of Recall Book. Isn't that the guy we're fighting? Yeah, it is. So we eat enough for twelve. She's eating out of us out of house and home. Something must be done. If you let her in, we get extravagant host, which gives us prestige. Hospitable host. So they don't really care about the opinion of the guy she's from. Send her back. Overwhelmed by stress still. Still with the stress. We're not having a great time of it. Growing debauchery. Safe enough here with all his needs provided for my son and heir, Georgios, has shown little proclivity to do anything but spend his day secluding in some corner. Spaced out an endless supply of hashish cakes 
Oh, I think it's called Court in this game, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Cortison. When I've always begun to take note of his behavior, can't help but wonder what rumors are going to be whispered about him in distant court. We can punish and humiliate him for it. Force him to... No, I don't want to give him that. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather him not get that. I don't like that trait that much. It hurts the stewardship, and stewardship is important. Especially for the type of realm that we've built. I think to get war score, we have to start taking parts of the kingdom that we're attacking for. But I would like to not leave open land behind. I don't know if that actually matters. I don't think it does. Maybe we should rush ahead just to do it. Come here. Stop it. Yeah. Follow me, allies. Let's... Go to his capital. You can see our little islands down all he wants. We're going to go to his capital and burn it to the ground. Well, hopefully not burn it to the ground because we kind of want to keep it. Well. That's a, that's a crash. <laughs> we have to have at least one. At least one per stream. So bear with me as I... Uh, get the game going again. That is true. That's why you, that's why you save. Hey, there's autosaves every year. We should be fine. Hopefully it's not... I hope it's not going to be a consistent issue. That's the only, that's the only thing I'm afraid of. Is it... Reaching a point where it crashes nonstop. That's what happened in the Lord of the Rings mod when we had our Witch King playthrough. I'm just getting the game back up and running. It's taking its time. Let's get the game capture working. Come on. You can do it. There we are. And I will have a save just here. It has put us not that far back. It's right at the point where we're about to win these two sieges and then we march down to the capital. So. Let's just hope it doesn't happen again. Finish promote culture, that's right. Let's do this. I will save again. Because this is actually right around when it happened. Fingers crossed. Requisitions. Oh yeah, we can spend our time and our money pursuing a, a book about wealth. Helping our spy master or securing trade deals, which I will absolutely do because 500. Last one, promise.
take a full year to siege. Yeah, all right. Rahel Book the Blood Father. That's a pretty cool name. Enemy ally joins war. Oh. Did he die? He did. It's now his son, the Northerner. Interesting. Well. Let's go here. I want to be careful and keep an eye out on their army because I don't know where they're going to try to land. Just keep an eye on them. Landing up there, okay. Smart. Not landing directly on us. That's smart of them. God, that... The sword on shield sound is very irritating, isn't it? Just non-stop. It's a bit much. Let's keep all armies together. Let's not split up too much. Also, I should do... More magic. Verdant growth. Cast it again. We also do healing water. On ourself, potentially, but... Well, we're not really wounded. We're just... We're just old. Well, we're getting old. Eight seventy. Okay, let's do something with that. We can upgrade. Our, we can actually upgrade the palace to a palatial complex. Help with our stress, prestige, grandeur bonus. A city within a city, populated by hundreds of administrators and various nobility. The immense government apparatus contained within is a marvel of statecraft. Hell yeah. And we have to wait until we can upgrade the main keeps for those ones. Good. Good to know. Casual 10,000 of... Why are you sieging your own stuff? It's someone else fighting you. Yes, you're fighting within yourself. Good. Keep them distracted. Uh-oh. We shall help. Or try to. We did not help at all. Shit. Retreat. Hmm. Unfortunate. Sure, good enough. Should we white piece? I think maybe we should try to white piece because we obviously can't enforce the demands. Yeah, looking at looking at this. Let's play it safe. Let's not get stuck because if we I think that was really our only chance to white peace. Otherwise, we'd be stuck in that war until one of us wins. And that's... That's a match I really don't want to... I don't want to deal with that. Why are your children not in our court? Out of curiosity...
Uh, exceptional, I think, is the one. Exceptional Magi. Sure. It's, it's something. She's also not half bad with stats, you know, whatever. Get him another wife after however many years it's been since his other one died. Our current guy's on his fourth wife. And despite usual CK3 uh, plots and happenings, we didn't actually have anything to do with their deaths. It just kind of happened. Because, of course, usually you end up killing your spouse in this game, but we've not done that. And found our own holy order. I'm actually going to do this, I think, because if we, they occasionally want to rent out cities and they pay us a good amount to do it. So, let's found a holy order. The purest blades. Plus, that's, uh, right now it's only about a thousand, but. Are these, are these guys here considered, are the Shavoki considered evil? Okay. That means we can use our holy order against them. I think it's against any that's evil or hostile. We can't use them against a stray, I think. Yeah, it has to be hostile or evil, I believe. And luckily, that's half the continent at this point. Let's just look at the world. The eastern part of the empire fell to the Shelvoki, and they reformed into the Eastern Rite. Yeah, not a, not a lot of the Empire left. In fact, it looks like we're kind of like the main bastion of adversarians left. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, we'll do them proud, I guess. Let's hire a physician. Let's see if there's anyone good this time. We get Kale, or Kale, I don't know which one it would be. Ostra... Ostragisil? Maybe? Or Drago. Drogo. I don't trust her because she's sadistic. Temperate and patient sounds like a little bit better. I, I don't I don't trust the sadistic one for being the court physician. I feel like we've had that in the past and it's never gone well. Hmm. Our knight is unhappy that we hired a court physician. Fine, you can be the high almoner if you want. You can be a priest man. Rome will lose land when a vassal dies. The only answer to that then is to conquer the conquer this guy. That's what we'll do. As soon as we get money back, we're just going to attack them. Because we're bankrupt, we're really not that far in debt though. We're getting critical stress pretty much anywhere we go. I will take the stewardship challenge. A 68% chance of getting money. 31% chance of being stressed. Very good. That was easy. So about us losing land. We can simply declare war. And conquer his county. No more. Not a problem anymore. No more problems. Overkill? Maybe. 
Definitely. We, we're not even at full full levies. We're at three quarters of our mass, our total army, and even that's six times their maximum force. A bit overkill. Our counselor died of heart failure. Could make our player error. No, he's our marshal. Okay, then. You. You're better. Good. Our Kira endorses us. Our daughter. This is our youngest daughter. No, close to, though. Sensianism. Saintly orders. Religion based upon the wise and martyrdoms of various adversary and reformists. Saints and rebels. Cool. I like all the... There's a there's a lot of things to read in this. There's a lot of uh, lore and... Reading. Pretty much everywhere you look, there's... A considerable amount of... Work. Put into... You know, making it... Interesting. Of course, they're not all the way there yet everywhere because obviously you know it's a big mod for instance this entire area is a bit unfinished and the fog could have more to it i don't know if what they plan to do with it but it's a very well done mod there's a lot of very fun in-depth things to it. I recommend it. Enforce. Thank you. Shadows Saga. I will reforge. 150 to repair. Okay. That's... Duchy of Merian... I'm not even going to try. Nope. Who are you? I will give it to you because you hold the area. The wild. Spreading even more across these islands like a plague. Additional payment in a recent trade, I find myself in possession of a large herd of cattle. I'm ensure that the animals are of the highest quality. The question of what should be done with them remains. Let our capital prosper. Try to make it prosper even more. You know, 77 cent chance to get 20. I'm going to go for the guaranteed 10%. But I'm also going to cast a spell. You can only do level, well, technically level one, because you can cast the spell at level zero. It doesn't have a lot of effect, but it, it's a so it's something. Grandmaster Christophoros, stewardship underscore wealth dot six zero zero one. <laughs> it's all fucked. All fucked. Is there magic in the Villana game? No. This is added by the Overhaul mod we're playing. Very dark fantasy. It'd be cool if there was magic in the main game, but if I can see why there isn't. It's not exactly realistic, is it? It'd be cool, though. Because yes, this is the Godherja mod, which is overhaul, big overhaul, whole new world, lore, 
history mechanics like magic and bloodlines. They've re-added bloodlines into the game for this. As far as Blood of the Statesman. Our mother, I believe it was, founded a bloodline. Which helps with diplomacy and prestige. I like the bloodline mechanic. It's not in CK3, though. It's in CK2. My phone going off. Goddamn. Not for a sale. There are many reasons for me to ply the waters near Napirna in times of peace. We keep seeing Napirna. Where the hell is this? Oh, it's one of the places in our... Okay. Those are loud-ass seagulls. Uh, we're on a petty voyage around our near our capital when we spot a merchant vessel floundering in the distance. Even from here, it's clear that it's taken damage either from the elements or local corsairs. Its crew just barely keeping it afloat as they pale out water with whatever they have on hand. The sight would be comical if it weren't so serious. I notice several crates flow nearby, and no telling what kind of lucrative cargo might be hide hidden within. Our man is compassionate. We're going to try to help them. Regardless, we lose stress, which is very nice. Oh, it sinks with all hands. That's unfortunate. He's formed... The Nia Erematos hybrid culture. That feels like one that is... Uh, like, there are certain... When you make hybrid cultures, certain ones, there's like a decision to make a named hybrid culture as opposed to just slapping two names together. That feels like one that comes from... Yeah. There's some lore there that I don't know about. But it's there, I'm sure. Ooh, spooky. Oh yeah, the moon's fucked as well, if I remember this mod. Like, as in... The wor the moon of this world is shattered and just kind of... Half... F half made. It's big chunks taken out of it. And they regularly fall to the planet. And wreak havoc when they land. As well as being imbued with magic. Moon's haunted. Basically, that's where the dead magic get their magic from. Living magic gets it from sources like blood and pain and meditation. Dead magic just gets it from the moon. I think mixed magic get it from like the rift beyond worlds and they slowly go blind and insane as they use it. Are we using this? A lot of our artifacts are getting a bit... No, we're using this armor. Again, I'm going to leave off on the creating kingdoms. I'm going to leave that for... Our... Son. Or one of our heirs. The wilderness is calling out to me. No, it's not. We've, we've, we've never gone hunting in our life. Been too long since I've last hunted. Again, we've never been out there in our life. The farm of Kizos, there are plenty of powerful boars. Please do not fight a boar. Uh, something's missing. Are we lacking? No. Are my hunting spears too old and dull, or is it a companion I lack? Get a hunting dog. Diplomacy prowess. Brand new hunting tools. Prowess and prestige. Sure, we'll get a pet dog. Can be named Nosewise. Why not? Can't build anything yet. We're making 30 per month, which is very nice. Despixir Alfioxos. In right here. Announced to the world he and his vassals have converted converted to Axio Axio Theism. Having come disillusioned with the teachings of our priests, the nobles no longer consider the clergy to be righteous and true, distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. Instead of professing themselves exotheists, whose doctrines they feel better aligns with the purists' will. These are ones that follow 
they follow one of the fallen empresses of the Empire. Of the Eastern Empire. Yes. They revere her legacy nearing on deification. Painting her struggle with Aeshraces, who is the one that nuked the world, is a battle between good and evil for the fate of the world. Unfortunately, evil got the upper hand this time. Well, that's fun. So now there are... There's a heresy. I don't suppose he would convert back? No. This man, the bold, has also converted. So has he. Well, they're all converting. In fact, there's a lot. What's really the difference between it? Renal identity. The blood right. We both have the blood right still. The long war. Members of the clergy can serve as commanders or knights. Considers any faith of the tenant the burning world to be evil. We do not have that, luckily. Whereas we have suit of power, which is just too good to pass up and unrelenting faith. Well, this is fun. Half of our empire is going to convert to this religion. I guess we just have to live with it for now. How long's our truce? With our 14 months, we want to go back for round three. Maybe we can actually... Trendile Excess. That's right, these ones we've seen quite a few times. Our wife, guests, wife and guests are just indulging on all of our food and drink. Yes, only the best for our court, I guess. We've seen we've seen all, all these events a lot. Do that or we're gonna war these people. We could do multiple wars, little baby wars. We feel like we want to do little baby wars. It couldn't hurt. Well, it could hurt, but hopefully it won't. How about three? I'm gonna throw this one in too. Oh no, that's part of our realm already. Okay. So whoever this is will go here. Whoever this is will go here. Whoever this is will go here. Split up, go wild. They're going to have about 4,000 each, so we really don't need to worry about it. Yes, a fragment of the moon. is hideous. That's just rude. Maybe he's just a weird-looking baby. Sure, you know, we'll get all the payments we can get that are even half-decent. It's fine. We've become close to our Chancellor. Multiple occasions she's proven herself to be a reliable and forthright woman. With only my best interests at heart. Yeah, it's good to be friends. Especially it's be good to be friends with your council members. Well, I think it is, but maybe it's not. Maybe actually it's the opposite. Switch it. Popular figurehead, popular opinion. We shouldn't get any peasant revolts, which is good because we're 
going to go on multiple offensive wars in a short period of time. We're going to do this. Two or three or four at a time mini wars to clean these islands. Which duck this part of the duchy of Siolanthia? I will just grant it to a random person. Just head over here. Oh, there's no real need. Just head that way. There's that one done. Let's take... Let's take her money before we... Actually, that's, we're not going to take that because that would make... Yep. Let's not ransom out the important prisoner because I'd rather just end the war. this title now. Who owns it? You do. I guess I would just give it to you because you have the other land, so. Oh, shit. Hello, hello. Hello, Chronum. It's been a while. We are currently playing the God Herja mod. This is our third stream of an Imperial Isle playthrough. I don't know if you know the God Herja mod. Not create it yet. So we'll give it to this man. Nikolavanos, way over here. Uh, Duchy of Bariofi. A lot of these I'm content with just letting our vassals make it. Uh, long story short, the lore is there was a god that created all this world, then they died because the people didn't, they rebelled, and they made an empire. And the Empire split in half. One half nuked the other and destroyed the world and made magic go crazy and wild. And now everything's a bit fucked. It's very much. What if you. Yeah, just. It's just fantasy nuke destroyed half the world and magic's wild. The moon is cracked in half. There's a creeping, corrupting fog from the east that eats everything that touches it. Barbarians swept in from the east and destroyed the empire that was nuked because they were weakened, because they also got nuked, because, obviously, a nuke doesn't pick its targets, does it? Long story short, everything's fucked. But I, I would recommend checking out the actual lore of the the world because it is it's it's a lot there's a lot of uh i didn't watch a lot of work's been put into this mod and it's honestly amazing let's upgrade to a keep Uh, technically, in a way, we began as over here, essentially the, a group of the people that lived out on the islands and kind of were removed from the whole thing. They kind of watched the people on the mainland nuke each other, and then the barbarians sweep in and slaughter the rest, and we're just kind of like on the island, like, oof, sucks to be them. And then, of course, 
the barbarians turned their eyes on us and we had to fight with that. Yeah. We're kind of. We're like adjacent to... We were technically part of the Empire, but we weren't really directly involved, I believe. I might be wrong, but that's my impression. Magic. We only use our magic to make plants grow in our capital. We basically are just... We're basically a druid. We're a... We're a, a wannabe druid. Because we, we only help with plants. We don't even, like... We don't do anything else. We just help with plants. Half of our lands are being... Are falling to cultists as well, which is kind of irritating. 84% chance. Still said no. Thank God he changed. Uh, the thing in the middle of the islands, this, this thing right here, this is, I don't remember the exact name. It is the, the sea tower. This was essentially where the god that is believed to have created this entire world resided and actually, like, stood as they created the world. And the reason why there's creepy lightning and everything's looks kind of like it was exploded, you know, with cracks running through it all. And the reason why this is called the Shattered Coast is because when the people killed the god... As you'd expect, things got a bit weird. And this is believed, I believe, this is the resting place of the god's corpse. Beneath, like, the ocean, beneath this tower. It's very impressive, though. That's a very cool-looking tower. But if I'm remembering the lore right, that is where the god died. And that's why everything looks like a blast radius. Because it is. This was not, these were not islands. These were not islands originally. It is a lovely model. There are other towers around it too. Because other, other towers like mimic it because these are like, uh, yeah, places of magic and learning for, you know, mages and along way lines. They like mimic the main tower, because I believe that magic was taught by said god from their tower, so they kind of aimed to mimic the design. It's all very cool. And I'm probably getting a lot of it wrong, I'll be honest. Because I, it's been a while since I've looked at the lore properly, and there's a lot of lore to look at. Other people do a much better job of summarizing it than I do. I'm just here for the ride. Just vibing. Good puppy. Seems like the center of a magic. Ah, uh, uh, kind of. I mean, I believe the the original god taught. Elves magic, not humans. Humans, which are what we are, were slaves of the elves. Um, but the humans like learned magic, rebelled, killed the elves, killed the god. And they formed the seat of their empire right here. This is this was a, once their capital. This this was an important trade city, but we've kind of inflated its importance. We've spent a lot of time and money making it a good... Ooh, still punched eyes. But this here was their capital city, and there's another one to the east. Compassionate Discord. Moved by, moved by my tribulations, nephew has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties. However, his attentions have incurred the ire of Chancellor. 
Perhaps can it be trusted? It's merely a ploy to exploit you, my liege. We can place our trust in him and get a weak hook on one of them. Try to find common ground amongst the three of us. Or take their meaning. That one gets rid of most of the stress, so... Oh, but yes, this one here, which was one of the many cities destroyed, this was the Eastern. Because if I remember, the Empire split in two, kind of like the Roman Empire did. This was Byzantium, and this was Rome. Byzantium got the brunt of the damage from the magical... Well, essentially, I believe the Western Empire tried to recreate the power of the dying god and made a nuke and nuked the side. But it kind of fucked with all this because magic broke and the moon got fucked up. And it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Trust me. Just everything's fucked. <laughs> Are any elves left alive and even playable? I don't think so. It would be really cool if they there were missions for them to restore, you know, rightful elven rule. I don't think elves are playable. Don't quote me on that, because maybe it is, but I don't think they are. But I would have to look deeper. I mean, I'm, I imagine that there might be something I missed. Maybe there's like a small cabal of elves. The humans, though, the Aversarian is what they're called. Aversarian Empire. They did a pretty good job at eliminating any and all elves. They were very efficient. No genius. Intelligente. Intelligente. Sure. We're really sticking with the genius trait. I, I love the genius trait. It's really good. I will repair our crown. Let's go back to war in the Isles. More of these little ones. Declare. Conquer for f county? Sure. Yeah, good enough. You're a bit scarier, so we'll hold off on that. Hopefully we're not getting too ahead of ourselves. We probably are. We call it, you know what? We might as well call. Which one of these is the are they most powerful at? Actually, none of them, because the way we did it, we split up their defending their allies. I guess the Theaster. Oh yeah, we turned these into our... This guy here is part of our... Dynasty, because we were successful with, you know, political marriage. We're not the high medieval era. Very cool. <laughs> 4K points. You're just hoarding them. When I, when I add more things to it, you're just going to be able to go wild. Yeah. 
Can you add sound things for channel points, or is it only bits? Oh, she's way over there. I don't know if you know that or not, but out of curiosity. You do it for channel points as well, you believe? Okay, okay. So I have a couple ideas for that. That I'll work on it at some point. <laughs> you want the rats audio? You know, I might add something to do with that fucking rats meme because I just, I just love it. Especially the birthday rats. I don't know why. That one's always in my head. Yes, yes, we do. We have channel points and subs and emotes and all that now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. We are uh, moving up. I guess you could say. Happened, I think. Less than a month ago. It's it's still relatively recent. That's why there's not much. But yeah, we're we're We have more fun stuff unlocked. And I plan for many, many, many more things in the future. Ooh. That one's easy. Just take you out. You ever seize weapons? Yes, you do. Please help. Yes, that sounds about right. 304, like, watchers, and then 450 for subs. Subs get more. At least that's all that one I know. Subs get more channel points. At least they get it, yeah, get it faster. Which is the reason why you have like 4,000. <laughs> Plus the fact that you're always here. That's why you're a mod, is because you're reliably here. Also because you're a friend, but also you're always here too. It all It all works out. <laughs> I'm glad that you don't have a life then because it, it means that you're always here to uh, keep things running fuck speaking of keep things running another crash well shit <laughs> That one, I, th I think we just had an autosave, though. Well, hell. This is fine. <laughs> Rude. I wish that we had the, the, the new email there, because I literally just quoted the this is fine meme, and because everything's on fire. Everything is on fire. So I had my headphones off. I had to hold it there. I know, right? It's so rude. Wow. Okay, okay. We should be good. Let's just switch over, get game capture going, working. Please. There we are. I just saved again, just to be sure. We're right here, right where we've just I don't know what the hell is happening here 
by the way. Traveling in this mod, it gets a bit weird. So let's hope it doesn't happen again. It's probably going to happen again, let's be honest. Are we wearing this regalia? We are. We might lose some of our home island, which will be a bit annoying. Hopefully that won't be a problem. We will look into that once we can vassalize them. She's seen. Accept vassalization or die. Epicurean Entertainment. Oh, this one is again. Yep. Everyone's enjoying... Oh, shit. That happened. Autocratia Georgios ascends to the throne. He died. What did he die of? Just old age. Well, hell. Okay, let's... Go through this and get these set up. Luckily, we have some pretty decent people here. All right, all right, all right, all right. The base currency, I'm not doing that. I need to just don't. Don't notify. I don't. I don't want to know. He's already. Oh, he's actually gone way down the marshal, hasn't he? Overseer. Hmm. He's gone down the marshal. We're just gonna go down the stewardship because we need money. Just always. Family members. We need. Yeah, let's marry off our sons. Let's get some alliances. Our heir is already married. He has a. Uh, that's a choice. The mutton chops are definitely a choice. Let's get some magic. And then we can go you, matrilineal. Set the defaults. Any alliances? A good order. And we have another daughter. Kirena. Sure. Make them matrilineal. We have other matters to attend to, more than simple uh, coronation. We have more important. What the hell? You know what? Let's not let's not worry about it. I think the travel sometimes crashes the game. Though, so I'm gonna save. Excellent. Show her in. Take it. This is all. We've seen it all. Court artifacts. Nothing new. It's just telling us that we have things. Nothing new. We have a lot of good. We even have a throne. A masterwork throne. What now? 
The munificence of Svenfilkar. Now, those are words. The past few days, neighboring Hermkav Hermkavar Svenfilkar has been visiting our court on his way to some holy site or something. Since his arrival, he's been outshining me with his generosity towards my courtiers. We've been lapping up his gold with no dignity. Can't help but scoff when I see him surrounded by adoring courtiers for the umpteenth time. My courtiers. A purse for you, good Zathon. Some coins for you also, kind Damianus. You, sweet Aristarchus. Sweet honeycakes. Remember, riches are to be shared. We're... We're generous. Oh yeah, we're generous. Shit. Yeah, better him spending than me, I guess. Liberty Faction is unhappy. They're unhappy, okay. So even with a hard rule, yes. You know what? Oh, I can create it, so I will. Who here wants it? Give you the entire island. As soon as we're done with this war, we can go host our coronation. We're just a little busy right now. A little busy right now. So we're getting there for owning all these islands. Half of them have just been just accepted vassalization because we're close to them and we're very powerful. They know it's good for them. Oh, shit. Two of our counselors just fucking died. Okay. You'll do. Eight, but it makes them happy. If it makes you happy and not revolt against me. Damn. Oh. Easy. You. Grant you this. Thank you. Let's host our coronation. It is... It's Apexia. What is Atepexia? I really don't know what that is. I have no idea what Atepexia is. So why is this empire so tiny? Weird. Let's go to Holt Coronation. It'll make people like us because they don't like us right now because we're uncrowned. We can spend 1500 what the fuck? Middle ground, I hate using- we're, we're gonna get the money back. I can't justify spending 1500 though, that's ridiculous. So we're gonna have a mid middle ground coronation. I'd love to see what a grand coronation would look like. As plate after plate of foods brought into the Great Hall, an unmistakable smell reaches me, and I smile. That's my unsettled vassal. Uh, Mekondagar is separate of oh, that, my unsubtle vassal, Mekondagar. Is that how you say his name? No clue. Sensitive to lemon, something I sadly forgot to tell the cook. I bid you all welcome. I pray you'll find the food to your liking. It can hurt his health. Yes. Maybe he'll just die from an allergic reaction. Collateral damage. I barely managed to sit down at my seat when I hear a howl emanating from Krios. Uh, seem he and Mekondagar, the one that we just fucked with, 
have really gotten into it. Krios is receiving a proper man land handling from the other. Too late, I realize the martial dance paid its way straight towards one of our banners. Motion, my guard, motion for my guards to separate the two, hissing and clawing at each other. It's the full cat fight, apparently. The duel is presented in front of me, all the while throwing blame on one another for starting the fight. We'll blame him, because he's already our, our rival. Or at least he's going to be. We have another rival as well, of Glansko. Probably end up having to fight this Liberty faction. There's a lot of them. Hopefully we're fine. Hopefully we'll be fine. We discovered Bailiffs. Now we can finally go into the High Medieval Age. Down here, special things. Adversarian Plate lets us get special heavy infantry, which are pretty good heavy infantry. Or just massive bonuses to heavy cav infantry damage. Go for banking, dev growth, urbanization, scootage, guilds, grants, domain taxes. Knighthood, direct vassal opinions, actually pretty nice. Maybe we'll go for that. Yeah, go for knighthood. Take about 40 years. Our antiquarian approached with a wordy expression on his face. My lord of growing increasingly concerned about your pots heard. The state of utter despair has fallen into. We don't really care because we're not using it because it's not very good. Or to save out a proposal. Recently I've won a dusty scroll at dice from a shady character in a traveling fair. Very fortunate deal since its content played well into my budding interest in alchemy. The old scroll describes a secret potion that's ensured to make any artifact even better than new. Let me try it. Sure. If it's super successful, its durability is increased and max durability is set even higher. Sorry about that, I had a sneeze. There's a good chance that it's repaired or unsuccessful or it's straight out destroyed. Why not? I mean, we don't care about it, so. Liberty demand. It would set our law lower. Or we could just go to war, which I will. Really, only 2,600? Is really going to try that? Over here is the capital. Her capital. You know, I'm just gonna I can just call in our allies and let them do all the work for us, but we're in now yeah, we are in debt, actually, yeah. Sure, we'll call them. We don't need it, but just in case they find allies, we'll Now our guests depart. We had an acceptable coronation. Excellent, excellent. We'll just head out. Take these guys out, do some sieging. Our allies should probably help. With the islands, hopefully, or they'll come over here and be useless, but. Oh, there are more. Yep, that's. That's why I called in. I don't know where they got all these friends from. But that is why I called 
allies in. So I was afraid that it was going to be more troops than they said they would be. And it is. Should I just go attack them while they're weakened? A lot of them are right off the boat. We're going about a business when our rival came up and insulted me straight to my face. We could respond with our own insults. Try to duel him, we'll probably lose. Or leave him alone. Attack. Hopefully my allies will help me. Our player has had a, a little baby. She's a genius. Philomela. There's a battle somewhere in here. Oh yeah, there we are. Perfect. Let's go bring this one over here. Should I bring you over here, the other army? Go up there. for 10, ransom you for 50. Mm, I don't know how much I like that. Someone's trying to murder us. What a surprise. I'm gonna let that siege finish first. Or we can just go in with our current army. Mm. Their reinforcements might help. I'll let them reinforce. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. You can go here. I'm going to bring this army up to here. Let's start sieging their capital down. Probably the only way that we can... Oh, our rival died. And she was kicked out of uh, her area. Her place was kicked out of the war because she died. I guess her son didn't feel like continuing it. Good. Gray days. As a straight arrow whizzed past our head in the yard, we feel nothing. No fear, anger, or panic. It's been par for the course recently. Feels as, I, feels as if I exist behind a curtain, keeping me from feelings in the world. We're so tired. I feel you. I get the feeling this king might not be long for the world. I feel like he's not going to last as long as his uh, predecessors. Us here. Nope, nope, we're coming. Help me out. Help me out. I thought they were going into. This is fine. This is fine. They were doing well. We're doing very well. I'm going to keep these guys around here just to protect our homeland. Oh, we have actually. Not really.
Teleport Magi left. Oh, because she was she's married to a foreign ruler. I see, I see. Yes, we'll bring her in. It'll make her happy. And we cannot. She can cast. She doesn't have anything good, though. Unfortunate. Go for War Profiteer, because that's just a good one to have. Might as well just write some what we can. Claire has had another child, a grand, another granddaughter, Sophia. Okay. How are you doing up here? Still working on it. We're almost there. Strengthen our currency, which I will do. Taxes, dev growth, control growth? Absolutely. So this should capture everyone. I might convert them all and release them. Because I think that's that'll work. That'll be best. Enforce. Thank you. So, let's look at our prisoners, then. Fortanox. Uh, any of them who are heretical religion? I will let them out if they convert. And hopefully that means that their children will do. I don't know if they will, though. We'll see. This, we'll use her to test it. No? Okay. Yeah, no, they're pretty much all... We could just ransom that. We could get a good bit of cash for them. Because if we kill them, it's just going to make the rest of our people pissed, so... Let's just let's just ransom them off. Let's get just a bunch of money. I'm alright with it. Good gold, good coin. 75 is good enough. 10? Can they afford 10? For a favor? No. But sure, you can. You're actually kind of harmless to us. Should be fine. What can we build now? Can we actually build anything? We can build things over here. I almost want to upgrade this keep further, or we can. Resin collectors help out. Less army gold maintenance. That would be helpful. Charcoal burners. Sure, it's relatively cheap. That went well. That went very well. Yep, the hot herd thing is destroyed. I don't really care. Sure, we'll go into alliance. Does she want to become a vassal? I don't know. Probably not. She's part of a bigger alliance. Let's 
slowly trying to convert people. But it seems that not everybody in this area is of that religion, so that's good. It's helpful. I don't think favor hooks from them matter because they're not direct vassals. Again, I might be wrong on that, but I think that's how it works. I make him like us. Send him some money. Let's make him like us so he's more likely maybe to convert. I don't know if that's how that works. Alright. Where... Did we always own all of this? No, we just own this. So he's... Doing even more over here. I guess good for you. Our vassals are doing some of the work for us. Even if we don't really care about the mainland, it's I guess it's still good to hold this. That's blinking. It's good land if we want to invade him again, which we're probably going to do. We're definitely going to invade him again. So. Try and take. Scrod again. Zgrod? Zgrad. Grod. Don't know how you say that. Well, let's go back. Let's doing what we were doing with these little baby wars. Defending. Defenders of Talanda. Oh, I see. I just want, I want this part of you. I'll declare conqueror of Yanuterak. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Posture and hydrate. Yeah. Help keep you gotta water the streamer like a plant. God knows I'll forget myself. <laughs> this is part of something bigger. This is its own thing, but we could maybe take it. Or can we wait till we have a duchy? Yeah, we'll just wait till we have a duchy. You go here. Yes. Split them up. We don't need all these armies anyway, but... Could imprison him. Well, look at that. Maybe after this little war, we can see about force converting him that way by imprisoning him. Just go ahead, let it speed through, let it go. We don't even need this much army, but it makes it go faster, I think. Ah, oh, yes, out, out for a sail. Find merchants damaged, just floating in the water, and we could... No, we're going to try to help them. There's our character here, which as we see, he's not compassionate, but he's generous, he's... 
hint. I don't think he's the type to raid our own merchants and kill them. Who owns this? You... Yes, I'll grant you. Now your own, your own vassal. Not underneath her. I think it's about time we took a break. After this war, we'll probably take a quick break. Before I forget, before it gets too much further. This war is going to take a little longer. Right, of course, he's not only here, is he? You have to go siege over here. Oh, never mind. Is it because? Yes, he lost that war, so technically he lost his other land. Good. That's helpful. Juan Gideon. Might as well hand her the land that she owns. We make three kingdoms and two duchies. Let's make the duchies at least. Make the Levanus here. We'll give to you. Why not? And you can fight amongst yourself if. Uh, Bar Bariofi over here. Give it to you. Because you're part of our family. It just makes you more powerful. Even more expansion. So we have left probably this chunk of island, this chunk of the mainland. We can go we can go all the way up here, take all of these islands, take this, take that. I don't know how far we're going to go with islands. We could take a lot of islands, but... This is all part of the same... Empire. So maybe we'll go for this empire. And this empire. Take a chunk of this, take that. Yeah, I don't know. I, I do think we should take at least this kingdom, but we can just take the entire empire if we want all of the Muscov. Take a chunk of this. I don't know yet. We're this this one especially is probably gonna go until we get bored of it. So there's probably going to be at least one more stream of this after this, I bet. There'll be a four part. <laughs> we have something new. Do we? Oh, we we found a battle axe, okay. Oh yes, that is a good place to take a quick break. So I We'll be back in about five-ish, ten-ish minutes. And when we get back, we'll continue warmongering, probably. Hopefully we don't die. But until then, see you soon. Be right back.
Hello, hello. Hello. Welcome back. Let's waste no time getting back to it. Shall we? Just making sure everything's still working and running. Seems to be. And besides the two crashes we've had, not not bad. Only two. Could be worse, and we've definitely had worse with these mods. Alright, back to it. I think we gather a bit more of our gold. And maybe we go back toward these guys. We're just gonna keep throwing ourselves at them. Actually, can we even do anything with... We can't invade a kingdom yet. Because we need... The next level of fame. Okay. Let's start working towards that, then. We get that pretty easily if we create... Some new kingdoms. So I guess we can just sit and build for a bit as well. Maybe prey on some small nations here and there. Charcoal burner. Let's see the loss. Competitive cronying. Neither Sergius nor Procopus notice that they creep closer to their boisterous hallway conversation. Physical supplication is key. Every groveling induced bruise on my knees, fresh coin in my purse. Just can't go wrong with prostration. Mon says, just keep stacking adjectives in front of his title. Be rich till you die. If you got air in your lungs before you get to autocratia, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> we cough, hushing the mortified toadies instantly. Hmm. We just... Honestly, you could both try harder at this, couldn't you? See right through the manipulations. Force them to pay money, or... This is beneath us. Yes, I think, because fame. Do want fame. This is it is beneath us. Also, we can do a legacy. We're gonna keep going down. We've all gone on with the bureaucrats. So bureaucrats. Base progress and council of skill and packs on thing. So our counselors are better at their job. And we've got a full erudition legacy. Let's go back to uh, well, back. He's fully converted all of the culture. On the home island, at least. Is this... That's good, then. And Dao Kenny. I should probably learn Dao Kenny, huh? Learn his language. We're already scheming against him. Learn language. So Dao Kenny uses the Revolki. We have no more Vrodkin. We could learn... Dasulanoi, Dasulanoi. Sure. How many schemes can we have at once? I think we, I'm going to say probably two. do love when they give us money. So this is an entire... Maybe not kingdom, it's a, it's more like a duchy. Actually, not even that, just four counties. Dismiss Anzazas. Conquer a whole duchy. We can do up here, then. Conquer this duchy. Yeah, why not?
Little baby. Not really magically inclined like we were hoping, but... Cry of court. I'm just harshly for my hospitality towards Ostregisil the criminal. It was avoided by almost everyone on account of their wicked faith. My failure to condemn and continue proximity to this irredeemable fiend perceived as open tolerance, tarnishing my court's reputation in the eyes of the pontus and faithful. They forced my hand must not decide whether my courtier's crimes outweigh my affections for him. Surely something must be done. Courtier is really so hard to replace. Sure, well, he'll have to repent, I suppose, to remain. Thank you. In inevitably, I was punched full of goblin, full gremlin goblin. What a surprise! I have a I have a giant monitor. I really should not be that far forward, leaned in. Honestly, y'all are just keeping keeping my eyes from getting any worse on my back. So kind. Barony City Barony. Barony? A holy war for Scrod. Hmm. Well. They better not be against us, right? Defender? Okay, good. Oh, wait, no, we're defending as well? Is it because we own part of the kingdom? Yeah, of course it is. Alright. Come crusade us. Try. Good luck. He can certainly try. Really, as soon as I leave, okay. This should be fine. Yeah, yeah immediately. They're good. They're fine. Just sit there. Don't waste gold on it. As soon as we de-siege this, we're good. Yep. Force think. You disband. Create a new duchy. Who should we give it to? You'll do. Even more land swept in by us. Good luck. They're trying to find... I mean, just us two alone is over 20,000. Ooh, 300. It's a little unbalanced. Can't believe we'll have to work with him to protect. Hillside Manor's Plus 30% tax for the whole thing. Sure, make better servant quarters. Do you have any other disgruntled vassals? Not really, so I guess... So 
So we've learned his language, the of the Dao Kenny. I think. Unless maybe we did the other one, I didn't actually look. Yeah, Rek Vulki. Are there any other major cultures in the area? I guess you. We could learn from you. They're voyaging. Not sure. That could come in handy, maybe. Yes, rally. So I want to imprison him and at least convert him away from the cult. Just make things a little easier for us. Don't really have the money to do this, but it's no secret that it's hard work. Uh, that I'm working hard, rather, on learning the Kelthiwane language. Since it's becoming common knowledge among the Daswonoi, these fucking words, man, peasantry. They're referring to me as the autocratia that cares. Flattering thing indeed. Even the lower nobles are lauding my efforts. I feel like my efforts have brought the islanders and the Dasulanoi closer together. Yes, we'll try to bring their cultural acceptance together, I guess. Don't really know how cultural acceptance works. Haven't really looked too much at it. Don't know what it does much, but... Hergel, better taxes from our vassals. Then we can start going down the architect. Path. Another baby. Somewhat skilled in magic. Not too much, though. Kill. We want to make a brooch. Don't we have a brooch? Yeah, it's it's not a bad one either. It's some prestige. Oh, do we take oh no we can ransom off his son like a kid. Easily destroyed. Easily. How this siege is going? Actually, pretty good. Votofo. Rude. He sees the beautiful wooden sword. Yes, I would I would like him to be the role of right religion, just to keep things easier for us. And another ten. Task finished, converted faith. He'll just be hard at work converting the islands, but force. Thank you. You, my friend. All I want is your conversion. Oh, actually, no. Does, his children don't convert either, though, is the thing. I could just take the title from him. Yep, that works. That's easier. I will grant it to our daughter. Why not? Nepotism? Maybe so. But it's how it goes. And a beautiful wooden sword. 
Prepare for 63. I mean, it could probably be useful eventually. The Queen of Thorns. That is a cool nickname. Okay, okay, okay. So this is actually a wasteland. We can just colonize. If we get 500, we can colonize this and start claiming this island as our own. This whole duchy is just on its own. And then this, of course, is just... Like, let's conquer this little county. I guess I'll let them raise. We'll find which ones have siege weapons. You do. Okay. Disband this one. Disband that one. And this one. This is still going to be way more than we need. Yeah, we outnumber them 10 to 1. Yeah, holding this little island here, and then we'll colonize all this ourselves. Slowly, eventually. Slowly. Gently. This is how our life is taken. And if I remember, when you colonize, you get a lot of events that help get more money. So, we'll spend 500, but we'll get some money back. It'll all work out. Is anyone here actually still... No, they're all converted. There's some southern adversarians, except not really. Some central islanders, but not really. Maybe over here? Yes, there's a, a handful of these islanders left. Not much, though. It's pretty much all destroyed. The Adversarian Empire is pretty much done. Yes, I'll give it to our niece. Again, nepotism, but hey, what can you do? Mayor Anna, 30, pretty good. And yeah, let's begin colonization. Which one do we think is the capital? They're all their own county capitals. This was the capital of the duchy. This one. Colonize. We'll personally hold it for a bit. The Kothex of... Metrikikatos. That's probably not how you say that. So it's found that the official in charge of our colony severely mismanaged the colony, founding new settlements in poor regions, placing farms in hospitable areas, and properly storing perishable goods. This level of stupidity is criminal. The administrator has been arrested, brought before me for judgment. We'll just throw him in the dungeon, I guess. I don't know how you fuck it up already, where we just started colonizing it. We lost our court physician. That's unfortunate. Let's hope we can get a new one. Get Constantina for 300. Alexandra for another 300. Mm. Helenova. Yeah, sure. Bring her in. She's a miracle worker and a poet. She'd be our court poet, then. I don't think we have one yet. So, yes. Yes, she can. Antiquarian, our daughter. 
Sure, we can have a court tutor. This courtier of ours. Mash of the horse. Mash of the hunt. Royal architect. Just filling out all the different positions. Someone's probably angry about that. Yeah. Sure, if our son was angry about it, he can be a champion. Hmm. Yes, this is what I was hoping for when I made the Holy Order. Is now they want the tribe of Borakin, which is uh, down here. Yeah. You can have it, and we get 750. We can upgrade. We can upgrade the monument, the quarters, the glassmaker, to a skill, a silken porter. The luxury trade is what this is. Old town wall hurts taxes, but makes things better. Waterworks helps with dev growth. Hmm. We can actually upgrade this to Master Engravers. Dev Growth, Control Growth, Taxes, Exceptional Mint. Hell yeah. For whatever reason, it's not growing anymore, though. Let's take a look at this again. Upgrade this even further. Charcoal burners even more. To wood pastures. Tax building time. Supply limit. Or trade port. Sure, even better. We immediately lost our court position. That is very annoying. It might be a bad idea, but we'll bring her in. She's not she doesn't have any claim to the throne really, it's so not like she's not heir to anything, so she shouldn't be too impatient about it. Oh, our wife and one of our courtiers are bonding over just drink and food and yeah. Just a nice relaxation. We have a very nice court. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for a yes. Large cattle herd. Is it growing yet? It's not. I don't know why. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, no. The building being built. I hate it go up. That's right. I forgot that that was a thing. Can't upgrade, but we can build it in the new slot. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, Dijo. Yeah, fair. Tired, went back to bed. I feel ya. It is a bit bright, but you might you might be also used to us being over in this awful fucking fog land. It's much nicer outside of the, the fog. And, or, or maybe just too much hoi for, that is true.
switching between paradox games is a uh, a bit of a pain sometimes, isn't it? The Duchy of Mythos. Yeah, why not? Mythos. What do we want to build? Do we want to build? We can build a shipyard. I think I want to build the shipyard. Pirate Den sounds fun. I think I'm going to go for the shipyard, though. Just a whole bunch more taxes. A wood carver. Mast and hole engravings, repairs, and smaller boats are produced in these humble workshops. Svetin Sokol's Warhammer. No, we'll let it go. Influx of settlers into our colony. Heading there for the promise of a bright future. The future not might be as bright as they think it will be. No doubt be doing their part to ensure a prosperous realm. So colonization speed and dev growth or less, but we get some money. Let's get some money. Nice. I love that alert. Or that uh, redemption. It's so funny. It's easier just to get her to convert, as well as her children. Her children won't. Never mind. Can I get you to convert? Sure. The, the hook on the kid will expire before she can use it. And hopefully the mother doesn't do too much with it. She'll probably just, like, pay less taxes or... Ideally, she doesn't force her in the council. That's the annoying one. I don't really care about the other one. Building our capital. I should we look at? I should look at this. If this is easier. Build here. I want to build the tavern. And I guess in the workshop district. A siege workshop, I guess. Siege workshop sounds like a good one. Once we get the money. We're making this the, the jewel. It is truly the city of world's desire. Ooh. Wow. Already? Kind of old age and now we're Damianos the second. Really? That was that we weren't him for very long. Rip F all oh, the F's. That was yeah, it's Oof. <laughs> to be fair, he did we did come into the uh he did he did run uh words i can't think of words you know what i mean he only he was already old when he became a king uh i don't know that i don't know if i can check that might have done Oh, yeah, you have... That's a founder badge, that little first. <laughs> Very hyped for her death. Oh, no, I see for... Uh, for Hydrax. Yeah, that's the VIP badge. Which actually, I can... I'll have to check how many of those I have. Those are kind of like the founder of things. You only get a couple of them. 
Yeah, very fancy. We've unlocked all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, let's... Uh, we don't have enough knights. Look into that. Rome will lose land. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Hmm. Don't worry, I... Won't ask that. For a, a VIP slot. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't even think it's... It, physically possible to get that much on this channel so far. We haven't been streaming that long. Long enough to get that many channel points. Even if I had it from day one, I don't think I would stream long enough to get that many points. Yeah, Remy, yeah, you can't... You can't have a VIP because you are a moderator. Moderators and VIPs cannot. They cannot coexist. So here we are. Our daughter, Philomela. Philomela. A guardian. Who do we want to be her guardian? Arrogant, stubborn. Hmm. Diligent. I like diligent. I wouldn't say no to greedy either, to be honest. Sure. And we can be her guardian for the other child. Oh yeah. To be fair, yeah. If there was a betting, the betting system, then you could absolutely get that many points in a short period of time. One day. Okay, we're our new ruler. Let's take a look at what we have and continue. This one's a more stewardship focused. He's a fortune builder. Let's begin a preparation immediately. So expensive. Even this is expensive. We're gonna no, we're gonna go moderate though. Cheery gathering. You became the new head. Hell yeah. Try out the My Humble Opinion mod. Hmm. Uh, I'm planning probably on adding a lot more mods. I don't know what we're doing after this, but I do plan on eventually going to vanilla CK3, but with just a lot of mod mods. So not vanilla, base CK3. I think I've seen that one. Probably throw that in. A lot more like RP and like super in-depth, like population-based stuff. And yeah. All that fun stuff. I think I've seen that mod before in the workshop. Uh, eating was well in a way, drinking a little too far along. And drinking a little too far along when one of our vassals said it was time for some horse riding. The stables were locked up tight with guidance from another vassal. They soon led a group of eager riders inside. With absolutely no control over my animals, there was swearing, laughter, and broken bones as men and women fell from horses ambling around the hall. Other creatures in the stables did not get away much easier. One goat nearly caved under the weight of another vassal. Huh. Just drunk horse riding through the... the... banquet hall. Love it. Vanilla plus packs. Yeah, stuff like that, I think. That kind of stuff. Things that expand on the game, but don't, like, overhaul like Goat Hairs or Princess of Darkness does. Thinking of something like that, compiling just a big ass mod mod list. Because we've done a lot of overhaul mods. Maybe it's time to do. Uh, stay with, you know, more classic CK3, but just enhanced. It's a paste on my throne over here, my knight, proclaiming something to my wife. On such a beautiful countenance gleams. Being caught in her smiles as warm as sunbeams. 
for her life is my life, and her life to be as warm as refreshing as a fragrant hot tea. She's reciting romantic poetry to our wife. Hmm. Yeah, just get. Imprison. Imprison the night. I mean, really. Should have seen that coming. If you're trying to seduce your ruler's spouse in front of them. looking for oh yeah knights we don't have the money we don't have any money enhancements to the islamic stuff as well i'll check that out i i don't know when we'll finish god Herja, but i i'll probably uh comb through the work workshop find probably 30 40 mods at least throw them all in just mod it to hell God, I know, right? Don't have any money. That's, uh... It's too close to home. <laughs> Oof. How's the colonization going? Let's get there. We'll slowly colonize the whole island. Although we don't want to keep a hold of this. This is just... We'll just keep it around until it's done, and we'll see who wants it. Sister and brother-in-law made a little nephew. Little babby. Oh, yes, glory seekers. We're just... Instead of hiring some random people from the tavern, mercenaries, we're just gonna... Just collect some money. While it's in the castle town with Sophia, our other daughter... She was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. She lifted her head made a show of ignoring the criminals begging for water. We can have her keep arrogant, which is a, apparently a virtue to our religion. Become compassionate or callous. Yeah, you can stay arrogant. We ourselves are compassionate and generous and gregarious. What is that? That's not ominous at all. Yeah. Siege workshop. And with that, all the building slots are complete. We have had a son. Our wife. Oh, I see. She's over there. She's... Okay, okay, okay. She ended up over there, so I don't know how that happened. Honestly, I don't I don't know how we are still so closely tied to these people. But we are, so I guess we'll roll with it. We're finally out of debt. Oh great. She's our Chancellor. Is she any good? She's at least half decent. So that's something, I guess. Fucker. Five Marshall is way too low. Just... Forge a crown. We have a crown. I'd like to save our money for other things. What have happened to that holy war? Never went through, did it? Not surprising. They really couldn't manage it, could they? Do you want to become a poet? Or a journaler? I like poet. Get some extra diplomacy. Maybe we can convince people to join our side without having to fight them all. Although we've mainly... We've gotten most of those already, so probably not. I'm sure. You know, I might as well keep going down avaricious. You know, it's... We're almost there. I think at any cost, that's... Yes. 500 prestige for a bunch of money.
and strengthen our currency. It costs 900 now. But we get powerful currency. We get 1,200 prestige and 20% taxes, 40% dev growth, 20% control growth. Absolutely. Can't even do duchies right now. Yeah, we need more prestige. If I declare war against you, you only have. Oh no, it's a. It's still a duchy, isn't it? Shit. You with your ridiculous hat. You. You'll do. Yerlantaya. Declare. You might as well take someone's claims. Yeah, sure. Just little wars all over the place. That's the wrong button. That's way too much of an army. We're not going to need nearly any of that. Although that being said, they do have 3,000 right there, so. Hmm. Are we wearing this? No, we don't care about that. Call him in, or her in, for something. Try it again, I don't care. Welcome. Give me money. That's the best way to get your ruler to like you. Just, when you show up, give them money. Our friend and aunt, Adrian, has given us some money for our war effort. Let's see how fast we can siege them. They siege us. Old-fashioned base race. Oh. We can vassalize this man over here. Sure. I don't even know why we own this. Why do we own this? Who are you? How have... You know what? Let's just not ask questions. Some... Yep. We'll just, we're just going to roll with it. Good for her. We discovered Legion Raiders. What? Legion Raiders? Okay. How has that shown up? I guess maybe because our culture spread to the right area? I don't know how that happened. I mean, I'll take it. They're half decent skirmishers, so I guess we'll take it. Our daughter. Pickle, trusting, content. We can just stay content. The whole family line's been content for the longest time, so we might as well. At this point. Five months. This is not siegeable. Of course not. It's our land. Why would it be siegeable? Let's not. We'll just move on.
Wood carver has been built in Ilofa. Hell yeah. No one can convert. That's probably because they got converted by themselves. Ignore the each screaming in the background. Perfect. DC you and you. Siege this one down. Fighting on these islands is a bit annoying, isn't it? Oh. The last few weeks, a strange tale has begun to filter out the lens of southern Damota. Tales of golden warriors the size of two men, the general at their head. Now we finally have the truth of it. A stranger from the far, far south, going by the title of Lelmond, has come into possession of a host far larger than his neighbors or anything they could hope to contest. Already they've announced intention to conquer further lands. With such a host at the Lelman's back, can anyone possibly hope to stand in their way? Hmm. Casual 45,000. You know, as you do. Please stay away from me. They come from the south. Warriors of gold and steel. Just please stay away. That is what we needed for that. Of course, thank you. You were still fighting here, actually. Well, while well, we have the money, before we forget, anything we want to build, we can upgrade pretty much anything. Sure. Envoy at Chanceries. I won't lie, when that that gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I, always, I keep forgetting that I changed it to Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> I keep turning the volume down. I, I feel like I'm getting the volume close. It might be a touch too loud still. Uh, why did... Okay, Nightbot. Really, Nightbot? We're gonna... We're gonna... How about let me see if I can fix that uh, options excess fees. there we are <laughs> that one was apparently Perhaps for some reason. It said, I think. I know, right? What the, what the fuck, Nightbot? I think it just... I think Nightbot just has a... a vendetta against you. What have you done to offend Nightbot? Okay. The, the cap on... Caps is like 20. Emotes is like 12. Uh, Lynx... I'll still I just have links as no, but I'll Okay. <laughs> no, it was I guess it just didn't like the cats. It's all a conspiracy, man. Nightbot, it's been hacked. 
been compromised. How dare. forgets never forgave never forgot that's really strange though I don't know why I did that are we losing against this one thing oh yeah let's raise some additional soldiers I guess Could call house members, and I might have to. They will not accept. Some of them will accept. To war. I will not lose this war, hopefully. For you. It's too bad. Eggs are the best. Our sister has had little baby. Liberty faction, of course, they're angry about something. Can we get out of this dumb war so we can hopefully not die? To the Liberty Faction, because I don't want to... I don't want to have to fight. I hate revolts. They're just annoying. Acquaintance in Gomer. Gnome. Our player and our tutor. What about learning at Kumvoki? Yes. Press imprison button. Instant regret. Because when you imprison, they all rise up at once anyway, so... Oh, not normal. Oh, I see. No cheats here. The only time we cheated was on the Foglands because, oh my god, that was so awful. I hated the Foglands. I mean, it was, it was, it wasn't awful. Well, it was awful, but it was fun and then not fun at the same time. And, uh, no, you're good. There's no double send. Even though I do still have the debug menu activated because I keep forgetting to turn it off, but I... I've turned it off at the beginning of every every stream, so I will not be threatened. We were immediately poisoned from we were magically poisoned. You bitch. Please help. Help. This should be fun. I'm still trying to win this 
stupid ass war on his island. I hate it. Why are we over here? Why are we here? Just to suffer. Come on, ally, please help. Please reinforce. There we go. If we just take their capital back, then we can maybe do something. Independence faction from here. That's lovely. We're going to fall apart. How about... We can't hire them, but we can maybe get some mercenaries. No, we can't, because they're expensive as shit and weak. Mercenaries are just not good. I've, we've never had good experiences with mercenaries, really. Plus 60, you know what? Ma'am, fuck off. Will not accept white peace. I hate you. I hate you so much. Please die. We're gonna run our army back home. Just all the way back home. They are good when you have way too much gold, but we have, like, rarely been in... Oh, she wants to study alchemy. Sure. We have rarely been in a position where we can afford to just throw gold at a mercenary. Uh, gets beakers and sulfur at the study. Is there any specific area you'd like me to start investigating? Wonders of the elixirs. Remedy for all disease. Want to live forever. We've tried to live forever. It didn't really do anything. How about an elixir? What will an elixir do? Make us more powerful. Even though I am very interested if we could actually get immortality, but probably not. How long until we're no longer 14 days? It's all falling apart. It's all falling apart. <laughs> okay, how about let's focus on this war? Because the thing is, this is the only this independence war is the only one that actually matters. So technically, this is a liberty war. So, it's a little less uh, impactful if they win. Because if they win, then we just, we just lower the liberty, uh, not liberty, authority down. Independence, though, is a little more annoying. I believe it is... Uh, is it uptime? I think it's uptime, the command that you're looking for. Oh. We're in battle. Hopefully, an ally can help us out. Wow, it's already been almost four hours. Uh, the Alchemist wants inspiration.
Which means to find ingredients. Thank you. Just uh that that go. Well, all right. Show her in. Bring her in. The gifts. Generous gifts. There are a lot of noises. A lot of noises going on. You know, just battle. Just battle things. Miganhard. Too far away to interact with. She no, but won't invite to court because Actually not pet. Hold on. We'll we'll pin them. Maybe we can do something there. Fortune builder. Oh she's not actually oh that's her heir. Oh shit. Okay, 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 okay. Guaranteed genius with maybe a bit of magic. Oh yeah, no, I am. I I get that. We get that with um billions. With you know just the endless unit selection noises. I always kind of liked with the Hearts of Iron the um the. Little voices, the what the hell am I trying to say? You know what I mean. I I always liked it, but then again, I never played it too much. Definitely not long enough to become irritated by it. So definitely can uh, see what you mean there. The only one that I never got annoyed with was like. Age of Mythology, Age of Empire style, because I just always, always, always like them. Okay, that's one down. Oh, yeah, I see, I see, I get you. Combined with lag and any, like, yeah, like, delays. I get you. So the Independence War ended poorly for them. Good. That's the only one that I was really worried about. And I'll deal with them later. Let's try to deal with this this war now though. Actually, let's hope my allies... Oh, they, they're not going to help join. Okay. Well, actually, no, they might. Just go for it. Hope for the best. And let's zoom out, please, so we don't have to deal with that. Oh, no, never mind. They left. Where'd you go? Hey. Another rebellion. Everything is on fire. We are just... Everything is going horribly. Okay, we're out of that war. That's good. And we're winning this battle. Very nice. Uh, my lord, our alchemist, runs up to us. Giddy's a child. On this book when visiting the market, it's a book attributed to the fabled alchemist Jabir ibn Hayyan, the master himself. This according to the merchant. 
Nevertheless, just imagine the wealth of knowledge contained within. Yes. Just great book of mercy. Just make something amazing with it, please. This is their capital, so let's go help out a bit. I have a new artifact, apparently. No, I don't. Oh, no, we do. We have a Bled Bledlick War Banner. Hmm. Ransom two people. Ransom this child. But I'm going to keep this troublesome vassal for now. Inspiration realized. Experience of born fruit. An elixir that returns some of your lost vigor. Have a look and perhaps even a taste. An opulent fast flask supposedly contains elixir and potent enough to keep death at bay forever. Glass is inlaid with Niello, displaying a repeating image of motifs from the Cimadon motto and coat of arms. I mean, it's a health boost as well as prestige and learning. That's not bad. I think that's about as close to, you know, immortality stuff as we're going to get. Elixir of immortality. I wonder if you can actually become properly immortal. Okay. I know, right? Imagine if we just immediately died after that. It was actually just poison. I would, I would have to laugh at that. Yeah, I wonder if you can actually become immortal in this game. I don't know if you can or not. And obviously, you can in CK2 through many different ways. But ah, uh, yes, the Philosopher's Stone. Just simple. Go, go out, find the stone. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Profit. Easy. That would have been pretty funny. I'm glad we didn't, though. I don't know if there's an immortal trait in CK3. You might have. To, well, I think you can add it with console commands, but that's it. Like you can't make an immortal character off the start. Unfortunately, I've tried. You have to do console commands, I think, to get an immortal character like that. No idea. I mean, there are, are ways using like commands and mods. Not quite like in CK2, though, where you can just stumble into immortality through just random random ways. Some of them pretty fucking weird. Sophia, our other daughter has come of age. And I, of course, love the one where if you are a lunatic and you have already had the horse on your council... And you're immortal. You can sacrifice your immortal immortality to make the horse immortal, and then I think you get Glitterhoof, if I remember correctly. Yes, there are. I don't remember the exact ways. I believe one of the main ways is through the learning uh, focus. This, like the scholarly learning, I think if you go that way and you do a couple of the quests, not, not quests, you know, decisions required there, eventually you might get the opportunity to get immortality. I don't remember. It's been a very long time since I've tried an immortal campaign in CK2. But I know you can do it. I've done it multiple times before. I know for a fact you can do it. Well, I say for a fact, I believe you can do it. I it's It's been a while, and I might have had a weird... It's probably a lot harder than I'm making it sound. It is pretty difficult, but technically possible. I do love having the, 
the immortal horse on your council, though. Good old glitter hoof. What a lad. What a chad. Ashes to ashes, rust to... For 300, we can make it into a port artifact. And it is falling apart. Mm, you know what? Sure. Let's see what we can do with it. Eh, that's not bad. Just some prestige. Please, we're so close. Please. Ah, that was an important person. Whatever, when we siege their capital back again, we'll be fine. It'll all be fine, it'll all work out. And then we have to go deal with the populist revolt, because our islands are being sieged. What else is new? Thank fuck. Okay. That's another war town. Who else is angry? A liberty faction again. You you can't. That's illegal. And I'm just going to do this because it's free. This, the latter half of this stream, the last hour and change, has been just very stressful. It's been non-stop rebellions for the past hour, hour and a half, hasn't it? They're not happy with us. They're not happy with us. It's the mutton chops, obviously. So as soon as this goes away, we're going to... Try to attack them. We should hopefully win. Yes. Hmm. Thank you. We've made good progress, though. So far. So far, so good. Please, no. Halt the war. Allies. You and you against you. As an attacker, I will accept. I probably will not help. We just got our asses beat. Cost up. Of course, that's right. Daughter. They even told us they was going to flip to someone else, so we're missing a chunk of our home island. I'm going to kill you for it. Maybe not yet. That's a long trek. I will kill you for it soon. So let's see, we have prisoners that we have to deal with. He's just a guy no one cares about. You of Forthanox. Mm, negotiate release, perhaps. You've been causing this trouble, but also, I mean, you're about to lose everything anyway, so... If I just execute you, you gain some stress. How about I just revoke your title then? 
on this. Good. Now, this new duchy granted to Abad our daughter. You can make an alliance with her, I guess, yeah. We also hold Forthanox, which is another one. Oh, wait, you, yep. Yeah. Grant you the actual island, please. Good. Duchy gone. We shouldn't have too many health duchies now. Definitely repairing that book, because we like that book. Kind of controlling that Sidalos is low because it got sieged, I think, multiple times. Next we have... Well, we have still have her over here. She's still kicking way over in the middle of nowhere so you know we can just let her out yes yeah, just banish and maybe her land will be switched to someone else or will we get it oh, yeah, just depose this person got it Are we going to create a title over here? No, not yet. Still don't know why we have that or how the other woman got her hand on it. Why do we own this now? Why do you people like this? Just no regard for how the borders look. We own this now. What is happening? Why? Awful. You, you own up here, and you've also been a pain in our ass. <laughs> didn't get me as bad as the first time, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't get a little startled, a little spooked. It's just a very, it's very sudden. Is the volume at least all right? It's not too loud, right? For that, that alert. Because I can turn down the volume again if I have to. Do you want to just keep her around? You know, ransom her for a favor, I guess. You, of Brana, you've been a pain in my ass forever. We're going to take your title. Give this to, uh, how about you? Georgios, our nephew. There, go wild. That's him sorted. Lost a court physician, probably went with him, apparently. You're just stuck in there now. Well, send you out. You have claims. We could just keep you in our prison for a while. No, we're fine. Anyone else wants to be let out? Ooh, not you. We need to look at you. You. Miss Pixia of Nikolovanos. I mean, I could let you out if you'll convert. Or we just destroy. Mm. Banish. It's around the same could go down a little bit. Okay, okay, I'll do that. I think it's a touch loud as well, personally, so I'll just adjust that. You wish the Bandai Namco are on G-Force now. 
That would be pretty cool. I didn't. I don't use GeForce now. Didn't actually know that they weren't on there. That'd be nice if they were then, yeah. Elden Ring without actually needing to... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, you have a quote-unquote PC, that's right. I'm glad it's still doing alright, but... Yeah, that's... Oh, they aren't. Apparently they're not on GeForce. Interesting. They have a hook on her. Hire court physician. Or we can just find a new one. We're probably going to find a new one. Search. Also, I think we're missing a few uh, yeah, antiquarians. We'll keep you. You probably are decent at it. High almoner, don't really care about. Jester poet, can anyone be a poet? No. Okay, well. We've recovered from the, that little bit of chaos. Our steward and vassal up here has created his own uh, cadet branch, Simadon Bo. Hmm. Give me one moment, please. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I had to go get a new water. Check on the ruckus. Cats are wrestling again. It's bright and sunny. Makes them full of energy. And then they fight each other. Which isn't a problem. Except when it's at the top of the stairs. Then they start making a... Just a... Racket. We have 15,000 total, but we're still recovering. We're in a bad way. Switch a perk. <laughs> I mean, yeah, very true. Just like humans. I mean, I, I grew up in the Deep South, so I understand very well. I grew up in Louisiana. I know very well how the heat makes you punchy. <laughs> Just a part of life. It gets hot and then you start getting a bit bit weird. S 
sail maker and wine maker. Sails and wine. You can upgrade even more things if you want. Cargo depot. Warehouse. Fishing huts. Dockside stock. Sure, let's upgrade to dockside stalls. Can demand payment. No. Do you want to make more? We can make a couple duchies. This one, Kolblitza, is belonging to somebody. You, I well, actually, if you'll convert. I'll grant it to someone else then. Oblitza. And our other duchy is Linthus. Oh, wow, this area. I guess I could give it to you. Grant you Linth. No, it's Pylanth Pylanthus. Weird. How's the colony coming along? Is it fully done? It is indeed fully created here. I guess we can give it to now our cousin as well. <laughs> it's a little pricey to keep colonizing, but we can do it. We're making a lot of money now. Hills, forest, forest, mountains, plains. No interesting terrain. Drylands, a lot of desert, and then over here, floodplains and wetlands and jungle. I think I would like to play somewhere in this... Because this is like isolationist jungle. Like they come from the south and they have... Yeah. They come from colonists who returned or something. We'll have to look at them. Or oh, friend here's made a cadet branch. Mesopot Mesopotamites. I, I know, right? E4 flashbacks. Just the, the colonization it never ends. Colonization in that game can be a bit of a nightmare, can't it? It can be fun, though, especially depending on, like, certain mods, like, uh... Anbanar is a very fun one. It makes colonization a little different in some areas. Usually the colonization mechanic. Anbanar is a very fun mod. Oh yeah, that is true. Natives now are uh, pretty beefy. <laughs> They'll fuck you up. Which is kind of kind of fun though, because I I always like seeing the natives go kind of ham and you know build their own nations, you know repel the colonizers, even if. It ends up just being a bit of a bit of a mess. Backroom brothel. Hmm.
let's get let's upgrade that a bit too. I don't want to colonize, but also I just I just like upgrading. I like building things. I like to just hit the little button and we build thing. Royal Architects. Make another we can make kingdom. Do I just make random kingdoms? We hold most of them. We don't hold Ithoria and Northla or Ilianus. How pricey. We can actually do it. Twice, maybe. Three times? Yes, we can. Make all three kingdom titles. Properly hold them. Which apparently gives us some more knights we can... Is that based on... Oh no, we went up to Exalted Among Men. Hell yeah. That means... Oh, we can... We can go on a, a kingdom invasion then. I really would like to just take him on. I want I want this city. Os Osripol. Osripolge. And for probably Z Scrod? Scrod. Zgrod. I don't fucking know, man. Defeat? I was not part of that, so it uh, doesn't affect me. Doesn't affect me at all. We are now ill. Please do not die. Good. I always love they accidentally cut your leg off while they're trying to save you from a disease. Darine. Okay. Why is the control low here? Oh, just lackluster administration. Alright, we have plenty of money, hopefully. We have an ally or two to help. One ally, the other's useless. Invade Kingdom. <laughs> Pretty much. You have... Drain your blood. Hey, you're no longer... Yeah. The infection's in your blood, so drain all your blood. No longer infected. You're also no longer breathing, but... I mean, technically, there is some logic there. That's like leeches and stuff. Help with bloodletting. Just take it easy with the bloodletting. Don't go too hard. Can't be sick if you're dead. Just like um, the old cough remedies that had like hard drugs in it and chloroform and shit. You can't cough if you're unconscious. Is basically their mindset. Which technically is true, but also is a bit concerning. Yeah. To war. Nope. When overdosing on the cough soup would actually kill you. Instead of just make you a bit fucked up. Did they join? They did. Bledlik. Hello, yes. I am Vok. Hello, yes. 
This is dog. What's that from? I feel like that's from something. He is, and it's really strange. But again, it's it doesn't surprise me just from what little we've seen him and know of him is that he'd be a cult leader. Let's be honest; it's not not that surprising. I mean, hey, live your dreams, I guess. Yeah, Jared Leto was uh, the Joker in the su in Suicide Squad. He was, well, is technically still the lead singer of Thirty Seconds to Mars. Morbius. He's in Morbius. I don't know if apparently Morbius isn't good, but I don't know. I haven't gone to a movie theater in like four years, so. Rinsing you for 10. A player has had a little baby. Not a very good baby, though. Hmm. That works, too. Siege. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Perfect. Let's move away from that sound for a minute. Let's colonize this county. And I, I will give it to... Why do you own it? You should not have owned that. They, these two can fight between themselves. Our cousin and our sister can fight. Carpet Siege. Doesn't quite work in this game. It's, it's not as useful in uh, this game. Purpose is the way to go in EU4. This game, not really as effective. I mean, it's alright, but... Enemies here. Run. All right, all right. Good to have you around. Have a uh, very good night. And good tomorrow, because obviously I won't be around tomorrow. Have a good one. This battle is going very poorly. <laughs> One battle, 50%. Eh. Not fun. Hype. Hell yeah. Please leave me alone. If we surrender, how bad is it? That's pretty bad. That's a lot of money. We'll be in debt forever. Um... Hmm. This is bad. 
This is fine. We're fine. Hmm. Well. This is less than ideal. We can always debase currency as well if we have to. To get some money back. Should I just... Say fuck it and... Surrender now so we don't waste... God knows how long trying to fight this war. Should maybe sail and go try to take their capital? Let's go try to take their capital. Hmm. <laughs> sounds fun, sounds fun. Smash tournament. Hell yeah. I know nothing about it, but hell yeah. Oh, our wife is dead. No, our friend is dead. Our aunt and best friend. Our wife is still here. For now. We just gotta keep resisting. Plague of brigands in our colony. Hordes of brigands formed from disaffected settlers. Assault vital caravans, pillage undefended settlements, wreak havoc in general in the land. Nope, we, we're gonna have to need all the... We're gonna have to get all the money we can. We're about to go very, very far into debt. Defeat. That, yep. Fun. We know that was happening. We lose more people. Court tutor, almoner, seneschal we need. Poet, no musician. These are definitely interesting emotes. Nothing else. <laughs> We're gonna need some money. Another mental break. Do we just start drinking? We probably shouldn't. No, we're just going to keep... Keep it together. Keep it together, man. What is score? Our nephew is... Unhappy. I don't trust... I don't know how much I trust him to be our food taster, so... He's a court jester now. Uh, I, do we have a talk to confidant? Maybe. We can't afford to hunt. We did. We probably should, but also remember, hunt. Well, I don't know if you know, but hunting in Godherja is a bit different. But I'd like to try. We're but we're unfortunately we need four thousand more. Uh, gold. We're a little. We're a wee bit in debt. Just a little bit. Just a smidge. We lost. They took 5,000 gold in the peace deal. Because we lost. It's rude. We're doing well, and then we got caught out, and yeah. It happens. Honestly, these guys here have been our rivals, because the amount of times we've gone toward them and got our ass kicked is 
starting to become ridiculous. Honestly, I'm. It's kind of more fun just to keep losing against them because we're. This this is a, a rivalry. The remnants of the old barbarian empire holding the once capital of the of the adversarians versus the new adversaria. Kind of like the rivalry rivalry they have going on. It's interesting, if nothing else. Alright, we have to get our chunk of island back too, which is annoying. <laughs> oh really, debt doesn't pass on when you die? Huh. Interesting. Hmm. I'm fine with it. If we if we were we're making 50 per month. I I think we'll keep our ruler, but thanks for the tip. I'll keep that in mind. If we weren't making so much money, I would definitely would consider uh going to the next ruler. Let's say we'll we'll pass the torch. But I I kind of like our guy. He's good with stewardship and money, and we're making 52.2 per month. We got this. We're good. Good to know, though. I didn't actually know that that debt doesn't go... What the fuck? Oh, God. This could be a problem. The Godherge equivalent of the, the Mongol Horde is on our doorstep. Almost. Hmm... I do not like the Moseku Limpagel. Limpagel. They're kind of scary, and I don't know how I feel about them. Dynasty Legacy. Could go for magic. We don't really have much with magic. Kin. Marriage acceptance. I don't want to just go with warfare again, but we might go with warfare again. Maybe blood. Or traits. Life expectancy plus five. Better congenital traits. Control growth. I'm going to go with blood. I'm doing ones that we never do. We've never done erudition. We haven't done blood since like the first time I played through this. So I think we'll go blood. Especially because we're trying to keep genius in the, uh, the familial line. So let's go noble veins. Let's go through. This is the one where you can make them more common. Yes. Doing the ones that we don't normally do. We always go for warfare, to be honest, so... Let's switch it up, even though warfare might be helpful, but whatever. We usually go for... not that one. Usually we go for warfare, and then... Pillage if we can. And... I think glory is one that we go for a lot. What's legalism? I do like pillage, though. Pillage is fun. Also, just because raiding is one of my favorite things to do in this game. It's fun and rewarding. Popular opinion, plus 50. Make sure the common folk like us. Like us. Yes, exactly. More prisoners, the better. Plus the fact that you get prestige for ransoming as well. 
which helps a lot because I believe the tribal nations that usually can raid use prestige to fuel their men at arms. And they get the thing where they can have, I believe it's 50% more uh, uh, army loot capacity. Plus they have naval speed. 50% more gold from ransoms. Gold from battles is fun. It's just it's just a good one. That last one was 25% siege progress, which is amazing. Hmm? Not in place to question strategy, you wonder why you allow the enemies of our faith to go about their wicked business without interference. Yeah, I don't know if you've noticed, we're 24-ish hundred in debt. I can't exactly go on a holy war right now. Thank you. We've died. Natural causes, I doubt that. Was it the stress? Might have been the stress, actually. Maybe it was natural causes. You know what? That is true. Now we're out of debt, though. It knew she really wanted a holy war. We're probably not doing a holy. I don't want. I don't care about this land. I don't want this land. I think we're going to not go to holy war in the middle of the desert. Mm, Chancellor, I could check with the debug. I would have to restart the game to get that going. I think. Yeah, I turned it off. You would you would see if I didn't have it on. It adds so much extra shit to the screen. It's a bit ridiculous how much it adds. It's a bit of a an eyesore. Mm, you know, actually. You and then you. Yeah, the purple, the purple during the events is much. Even just hovering over a province, it has an extra. It's like four times the size of this little tooltip. It's a lot. It's handy. It's a bit. It's a lot though. Plus, I know myself. I would probably be tempted to use it if I had enabled. I'll be honest. I probably would be too tempted. To where if things were going horribly, I might be just like, press a button. I do my best not to, though. I don't really. It's more fun to just watch everything crumble. That's usually what happens. More money. We don't have a lot of knights, but that's fine. We're going to get more, probably, in line to inherit. None of the things we use are at risk. Okay, well, we are out of debt. We saved about 2,300 gold. We're going to go for a coronation, but it's only... It's going to be, it's, we're in debt immediately again, but not by much. I want a, a coronation that's at least, you know, half decent. Can't barbershop you? Damn. The clothes get a little weird at this point. <laughs> Disaster strikes at our feast. The wine has all gone bad. We got a little money. Murder holes and priest holes. We can't afford any of that. We can't afford secret tunnels. Our brother can be wed. Let's get an alliance. Oh yeah. 
We have our heir. I'm going to wait to see if we have a better child, which feels horrible to say, but that's what this game reduces you to. Secret tunnels. That's exactly what I was thinking when I said it. Exactly what I was thinking. Amazing. It's been way too long since I've watched that show. Yeah, I'm do a rework, rewatch at some point soon. Just top tier, really is. Acceptable coronation. Our vassals like us a bit more. Courtier score. Sure, I'm probably going to regret getting a food taster, but we'll see how it goes. We'll get an alliance because we need all that we can. Alright. Very close to the end now, I think. Our Kira does not like us, so let's replace him with someone that does. Our brother. Again, nepotism, but... Whatever. <laughs> Little uh, Filometa. Filometa's not bad. We have two. Filometa. I can make her our... Yes, change to... Filometa. Yes. And I'll focus her stewardship with her. I'll try to focus Marshall. So we can at least have some good warfare in the blood. Oops. Sure, I don't even know who that is. Well, we're no longer in debt, so that's good. God, yeah, we... The two of us, this region here, and... It, it's been non-stop. I almost kind of want to leave them alive and let them do their thing. We'll do our thing. I also kind of want to kill them. Because it's like five times now we've got our shit kicked in by them. The Holy Kingdom of Velos. Deported in uh, Bastion. Nostrian Republic of Perignon. I, I don't know how to say half of these. I'm just guessing. Dahagrad. Yeah, the the Shalvoki really did a number on all of this. All of these, the Dalkeni, Kemeni, Fenvir, Adrakomf, all of this. This is all uh, Shalvoki culture. So even they they did as good a job at eliminating the, the uh, no, they did a very good job at eliminating the adversarians. A very good job. Where'd you? I might get rid of you. Because I imagine I would love at some point... Arcane Auxiliaries would be good. Also some kind of cav. Two Legion Marines, Adventurer... No, three Legion Marines. That's a bit much, but... You know what? Fuck it. I'll, have, I'll commit to it. Alright, well... Looking at the time... I 
think it's probably about time to wrap it up. It's been almost five hours. And I think it's about good. We've made a decent amount of progress. I mean, we've captured a few more islands. We've really, we've just been fighting for our life. Trying to resist every single rebellion. Although we did build up our capital area quite a lot. It's been improved massively. But yeah, I hope that y'all have enjoyed. I've, I've actually enjoyed it quite a lot. Sometimes, you know, Crusader Kings can be frustrating. This one, despite the rebellions, has been fun. And I hope that y'all had fun as well. I should be back on Thursday for Pillars of Eternity 2. Deadfire. Where we're kind of getting close to the end of that game as well. We finished Graveyard Keeper yesterday. And Pillars, not much longer left on that one. So that should be fun. But, yeah, long rambling outros, that's about normal. <laughs> I do hope that y'all have enjoyed, and happy to see everybody that dropped by to chat and watch new faces, old faces. Glad to see everybody. Been, a, been good to see everybody. I'm glad. I'm very glad. I think... Yeah, again, I have an ending screen, but I haven't rolled out the new overlay yet, so we're just going to end it. I don't know when I'm doing the new overlay. Oh, see, I probably still have to tweak it a little bit. Nothing fancy, but... Yeah, so... I hope that you all have a good rest of your day and rest of your night, depending where you live. And a good tomorrow as well, because I won't be around tomorrow. And so until next time. Or no. It's been five hours. I'll see you next time. That's what I meant to say. Oh God. <laughs> see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.